So we are live. We're going live shortly. We're getting there. Yep. And we are live, guys. So welcome everybody to the Thanks. Amp Jam Social. This is a uh, we're going to throw some things in, at the wall and see what sticks kind of session. No, it's not. That. Um, so I'm joined first by uh, Kevin Wilson, Kevin M. Wilson, a.k.a. Eight Meets Girl. And I never know which to refer... I mean, have you, does anybody refer to you in person, in conversation as Eight Meets Girl? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Just eight? When I, or... when I started out in this crazy game, uh, I just needed a, a website address and was in the, and a a username for everything and was looking for something and uh, Kevin Wilson just bought up Kevin Bloody Wilson uh, so trying to avoid that came up with something King Kong fan 8 meets girl stuck and was available okay uh, and in time I'm gradually using it less and less I mean it's uh, it's it's the story of King Kong in three words so <laughs> I mean, that's what I've always seen. Is that not the point? Have I, have I mis been mistaken? We can bring yeah, Marco absolutely. in there. Got Marco. But I will still call you Ape, you know. Ape, yeah. You know, it's always, what it is. Always, always has, always will. Yeah, always will. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now we've also got Mr. Marco Manev. Uh, oh, there he is. It was, it was going so well. I know. It's okay, Marco. You're <laughs> fine. We're fine. <laughs> So I can tell I can tell by the the daylight coming through your window that that we are uh, the three of us are in one time zone and Marco is very much not in that time zone. I'm never in the same time zone. <laughs> Even when he is. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So um, so if we just go around uh, around around the uh, around the panel, uh, so to speak. And if people can just, uh, if, you, if you guys can just give a, a, a little idea about the kind of work that you guys do, because because I think that there's there's some variation between you. You're not you're, you're not all doing the same kind of gigs and with gigs as the uh, uh, key word there for Mr. Dan Mumford. So if we can, uh, here he is, the man himself. <laughs> so do you want me to? Yeah, just give, give us a little lowdown on, on the kind of stuff you do. Um, I draw lots of posters, which seems appropriate for this uh, convention. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of movie posters, some sort of video game theme posters. I used to do a load of stuff for music, like loads of band t-shirts and album covers. And in the last few years, I've started doing more gig posters again, because that's sort of become a little bit more of my world. As I say, the last few years, I mean, the last year and a half has had like zero gig posters, but um, before that, I was starting to do a bit more of that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of me, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What kind of bands yes. do you do? Uh, let's go for some name drops, come on. What kind of bands do you do uh, posters for? Uh, well, Dave Matthews Band recently. Everyone loves Dave Matthews Band, don't they? Do they? I don't think. Do um, they? No, okay, probably on. not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Metallica, Iron Maiden. Um, the reason I say Dave Matthews Band is because that was like the first gig poster I've done in a long time. And it came out uh, about two weeks ago. Um, and that's the first gig poster I've done in, what, like two years now or something. So that was insane. Um, so that was amazing to do that because I think there's a lot more gigs happening in America right now. So yeah, those sort of that side of things, they're doing more stuff at the moment. I think certainly a lot more big gigs. I think that you know yeah. they've got like some really big you know stadium shows happening over there, and, and we yeah. haven't got there yet. I mean, we've got festivals, but yeah, exactly. Um, so you know, some stuff like that at the moment, and um, yeah, I, I've been lucky to do some really cool ones like Metallica and, and Maiden, um, and you know, that's those those are the ones I really enjoy doing. That sort of world, awesome. yeah. I was like, Foo Fighters and, and Pearl Jam were uh, the bands that I really loved that I hoped you'd mention, but that's fine. Well, I, I did say Foo Fighters because I know that you are very much a fan of those yeah, guys. Uh, um, no, I won't yeah, say mine. It's, it's, tr it's true, Pearl, Pearl Jam as well, and uh, Eddie Vedder. I've done quite a bit of them recently. Yeah. 
And it can't get any better than that. Uh, sorry, had to, had to. Sorry, sorry, everyone. Sorry, sorry. It's the copywriter in me. Kevin Wilson, we've already had a little chat about your name. Um, but uh, if you can just tell us a little bit about the kind of work that you do in terms of the art that you create and, and, who, and what you create it for and the mediums that it takes. Sure. So mainly, mainly posters. Uh, started off very much as you play, have learnt the, uh, uh, and still learning the screen printing process. Uh, occasionally picking up some like key art jobs, uh, but none I can talk about and none that have seen the light of day really. Uh, and some publishing. Uh, you might be familiar with some of the uh, the pop-up books that I've done with Insight Editions, a couple of Harry Potter pop-up books and Star Wars uh, pop-up book over there, uh, and working on some other stuff now that I'm not allowed to talk about yet, but <laughs> soon. Uh, a really cool project with uh, I Am 8-Bit, uh, Muppet related. That's as much as I'm allowed to say. Really? <laughs> Hot so, eyes. Work, so working with Disney and I Am 8-Bit on that. Uh, and I'll go as far as saying it's my favourite thing I've ever produced. Wow. You heard it here first, guys. It's you a heard it here first. Book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, the exclusives are, all the exclusives are at Amp Jam. Uh, we have got some exclusive reveals uh, very shortly from Mr. Wilson and Mr. Manet. Uh Marco, hello. So I, I guess that we've got that the contrast, the juxtaposition between everybody's beverage right there was just so beautiful. We've got, I mean, wh- where are you currently sat, Marco? Is that is that like the bedroom and you're uh, drinking tea? Oh no, this is my studio. Okay, you're in the studio drinking what tea or coffee? coffee. Yeah, and then you've got Kevin drinking from a tiki glass in his tiki bar in the back in the in the back garden. And then and what are you on, Dan? You on some water? Are you? <laughs> I'm on some hardcore Diet Coke. Oh, yeah. rock and roll. Yeah, but the, the thing about Kev is that he's always got a tiki mug. Like, that, you know, it could be anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's, got really weird, it's a really weird problem. We'll have to uh, exchange uh, photos of tiki collections, Kev. Um, oh. Marcus, so if we could uh, just talk about, a little bit about the kind of art that you do and, and uh, you know, uh, and, and, the, and the formats that it takes... Uh, so that people know a little bit more about you. Sure, sure. So, um, like my friends here, uh, I also do alternative movie posters, mainly uh, screen prints, but also sometimes you play. Um, my work basically um, it focuses more on atmosphere and um, mood and uh, landscapes rather than characters, because that's what I, I guess I'm more interested in. Um, yeah, uh, I, I work. All, I'm, I work as a freelance uh, illustrator. I do um, sometimes key art, uh, book covers, magazine illustrations, stuff like that. I'm a big fan of your flight of the navigator. Just, just for the, just for oh, your flight you. of the navigator. Oh, that's I, I think that's a very underdone piece in the in the. I think. We need more flight of the navigator posters. Um, so yes. I can't. I can't think of any others actually. There, there's some. There's some great like yes. or, original art that was done for the film in the first place. Yeah. But I don't think that you know. I think it's a an untapped resource that movie. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, such a good movie. So if we, I think we'll go into some reveals now because we're at the 10 minute mark and I'm trying to be good on time management, which is not something I can do in my personal life, but we'll see if I can do it here. Um, we're going to <laughs> reveal, that's, maybe that's uh, breaking the fourth wall a little bit. Um, the, uh, the first piece we're going to show is a piece from Kevin Wilson, and this is a, uh, a film that's very close to both our hearts. Um, and it is Jurassic Park. And people can see it now. If you guys get... Jurassic Park up, you can also see it. Um, it's a it's a it's a stunning piece, uh, Kevin. And um, wait, how do I see it? I need to. You could see it if you got up YouTube as well. 
Um, yeah, but you you that. designed it, so I would hope that you know what it looks like. Do you? Who? What? Me? Kevin. No, no, no. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Kevin said, how do you see it, didn't he? Anyway. That's Dan. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Dan. sorry, Dan. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> I thought it was Kevin that asked that. I can see it now. Yeah, right, see okay. It. So, um, if you want to talk a little bit about your, your uh, well, yeah, I mean, how does it feel to make it, I mean, I know it's a film that's very close to your heart. How does it feel to, to, to have your know, concept yeah. become reality? Yeah, this is, a, this is a bucket list piece for sure. Uh, that's the variant that's showing at the, at the moment. We'll, uh, we'll flick to the re- to regular. That's fine, yeah. There you go. But the, uh, but the uh, yeah, bucket list, I... I was working on a Jurassic Park official project uh, that sadly uh, didn't work out, uh, and I was gutted when that happened. Uh, but then this came up. I put the concept to Joe at Barneck. Uh, he loved it. Um, he loved that it was different. Uh, it's about the island, and in my opinion, the island mm. is the, yeah, the biggest character in the film. The, uh, that scene, the journey to the island, uh, am I the only person who names scenes in films by the tracks on the soundtrack? But journey, journey to the island. Yeah. I know what you mean by journey to the island, but yeah. generally I probably couldn't do that uh, in terms of knowing things by, by heart. But it's, it's, um... but that piece of music is probably my favourite piece of music. Uh, mm. And I think the soundtracks often are a huge influence on the, on the work I produce. You know, it's what I listen to on a loop. And uh, in this case, yeah, yeah, that piece of music, like I said, is, is I, I may go as far as saying my favorite theme, full stop. Uh, so yeah, having a helicopter coming down the valleys there, uh, something I've been lucky enough to do myself, fly down those valleys. Uh, so I just had to, to do something based on that. And then there's lots of little details in there, uh, lots of nods to, to the rest of the film. We'll be sharing some of the uh, the, the, the posters and shots you've got, yeah. We'll share, and, and some and a couple of close ups so that people can see. Sure. That, because it, from the when you're zoomed out and you see it like this, you know you, you might not appreciate just how how much detail is when you when you go in. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got the regular and the variant. We'll just show them together. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, so that's the reg, and then the uh, the variant is the amber version. Uh, yeah, I haven't got any details on pricing amber. or edition amber. I haven't got any details on pricing or uh, uh, edition sizes yet. But uh, Bottleneck will be releasing this as part of their New York Comic Con drop. Awesome. Okay, we're going to show your other drop that you've got, uh, not your other reveal that you've got for a piece that's so coming. Uh, we've got uh, Creature oh, from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. Um, and it's got it's a real classic up. feel to it as well. Sorry, I've got, a, I've got a stream in here, but it's a bit of a lag. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I like your the, the the use of black on this to and, and the use of shadow is is like it, it, there's that sort of looming threat sort of going on and sort of the unknown like you're you're surrounded by black and it's and, and, and stuff and then you've got that as I say uh, the 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 creature in not complete shadow but some um, darker tone is it on your screen now, uh, Kevin? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, that's the reg. Uh... So yeah, that's uh, a title I've wanted to do for a long time. I've I've not been overly familiar with the uh, Universal Monsters, link, yeah. but yeah, I've always familiar. loved the aesthetic of them. Uh, so but I've only watched them all recently, like in the last two or three years, uh, oh, yeah, no, you, of and, and fell in love with them. Uh, so this was the first one I wanted to tackle. Uh, again, I did a quick sketch, sent over to Joe Bottleneck. He loved it. Um, and uh, the whole process of this one was really easy, uh, really quick. Studio liked it. Um, I don't remember there being any changes. Uh, nice. But yeah, this was a fun piece. Uh, I had some fun with the title, creating something original there. Uh, I've wanted to do something more vintage for a long time. Uh, and this really 
scratch that itch. And, uh, and but, speaking of vintage, we've got the black and white version, which is obviously got that sort of just super class. Are you, you going to do the rest of the game? Well, that's the plan. Yeah. So, uh, that's where it'd be good. Yeah. Plan is to, uh, I've submitted a couple of other roughs for the next two. Nice. Uh, very much a set, very much following on from this one. And, uh, so yeah, I've submitted yeah. two roughs for uh, the next two. Uh, the roughs have both been approved. So uh, I think the, I the creature's always probably been my favourite. Actually, like just the because it's kind of it's funny because it's a obviously it's a fairly cheap looking suit to an extent when you watch it's the camp. camp. It's camp yeah. as hell. But when you look at it static like this, it looks kind of cool, you know. Yeah. Um, and actually, it's one of those ones where I don't know that they've really tackled it in modern times, have they? They've done every, they've done all the other ones, like Frankenstein, all the werewolves and all that. But I can't think of another creature other than in like Monster Squad or something. Well, well, in terms Anaconda, of alternative seen, movie posters, have you not seen Anaconda? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, well, we've got uh, so those two posts and their incredible reveals. Thank you for uh, for bringing and, them. And that one drops, I believe, next Friday. Next Friday with bottleneck, right? With, with bottleneck, yeah, a week today. Awesome. Um, okay, and Marco, we've got uh, some stuff to reveal from from you. Uh, do you know when this is coming out? This stuff. Uh, early. So, I mean, we are early September. Um, <laughs> First oh. half of September, I would say. I, I I'm not. Sh- I don't have the dates for. Uh, okay, that's okay. Certain, so. That's all right. Yeah. Um. So if uh, so, well, we're gonna we're gonna show people these uh, these prints, and I, and I have to say, some of them, uh, there's there's one in particular that that's like a <sighs> kind of. I just it just so, there's so there's so much beauty to your work. Let's uh, we'll just show it. We'll just show. Okay. It. I'll let, we'll let the we'll let the art speak and we'll we'll get Gareth to shut up. Um, right, right. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead with that with the first with the first piece for Star Wars. When it. Uh, which one are you showing? So uh, this is, I believe it's it's Anakin staring at the at the tower, right? With the with the sun in the in between the spikes. No, that's Kylo. Oh, that's Kylo. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, apologies. That's Kylo Ren. Apologies. Um, so when you came, so the I mean, the, there's clearly a sim, there's a sim, there's a theme of of in, as people will see is of this sort of of the sun uh, peering through each of these pieces, but yeah. the sun seems to mean something different in each of them, which I really like. Yep. Um, is that is that the intended sort of? Yeah, that exactly. Yeah. That will. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I, I see it now. Awesome. Yeah. yeah um, Dude, yeah, that one's nice. Yeah. That is nice. I love oh, that, Marco. Okay. It's the best Lord of the Rings piece you've done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is probably my favourite of the of the um, of the four. We're done. <laughs> you, yeah, you just pick. Dan, you peaked. Uh, that might be like the moment. Uh, like you know, it's all downhill from here. You know, you'll never have me. a better job. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, um, right. So yeah, anyway, so now we have uh, we have Luke ga- gazing at the two sons, um, and as, this is probably my favourite piece in the two of the of the four. Um, yeah. So <laughs> the. Um, my mind's just gone blank. Sorry. <laughs> Might as well be honest. Might as well be honest. Seriously, I'm looking at it. And I don't know what to say because I'm just speechless. It is so. It's so beautiful. It's it's the and the hues that you use in and and you know your use of color is just so stunning. Um, oh, great pink. And the way the sort of like the pink the, the pink moves out into a purple. Oh, yeah, it's 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 beautiful. Yeah. The, well. Uh... The loop one, I think, is uh, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, scene in all of movies. Wow! So, um, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, because my internet is acting up. Um, yeah, so uh, I I did these uh, a year ago. Um, 
like last year I was on a Star Wars Star Wars in, in a Star Wars mood and I did a lot of Star Wars posters and they're just releasing this year. So, did, um, so, but to do this particular, given that it's like one of your favorite scenes from all cinema, was there? There's a special significance for you, yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Actually, that was the inspiration for the whole, the the, the other three pieces. I really like the uh, the mood that that uh, scene conveys, like Luke looking at the suns mm -hmm. and uh, thinking about his future and his place in life and in the universe at, at, at that moment I, I just that that really speaks to me and I really liked it and I, I just wanted to take uh, the whole well not all of the uh, Skywalker um, family but the forced users uh, and put them in a similar situation for instance the, the Kylo Ren one that never appeared in the movies as the other one that you will show, I guess. We're now showing um, the uh, we're now showing the Vader piece. Oh, okay. Well, my internet is horrible. No, no. It's, it's, uh, so we have literally yeah. just did it as you were talking. So, so even though okay. there is a small delay, it, it's uh, okay, cool, it, cool. it's literally seconds. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, Vader and Kylo are those scenes never appeared in the movies, but I really like to tackle uh, scenes. That never appeared in the movies, and it's very difficult to get those approved. Especially in like, yeah. I'm surprised yeah. you did get them approved, actually. I remember yeah, you talking so, about it a long time very, ago. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> no, it's very funny when you have to explain to people uh, that work for Lucasfilm that, oh, this actually appeared in that book if you read it. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> the. Uh, because the, so the, um, the the shape in this one is that is that from anything that that window that he's like what's that from? Well, that's uh, from uh, Vader's castle from Rogue One. I was going to say, is it is it Rogue oh, One that you've got? Because okay. it, it was so looking, actually looking familiar. Vader is inside the castle, and when you look at the um, Kylo Ren one, that's the castle from the outside. And we've that's, got, although not in the same time period. And we've got a fourth one to to reveal, yeah. And here we go. It's Ray, um, and and again, and and obviously, it's a nice symmetry with that with with her and Luke the, 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 having the two sons there as well, um, and and appreciating you incorporating BB-8 there. Yeah, well, that's the actual scene from the from the movie, so I had to <laughs> stay true to it. But how did you feel about it when they did that in the film? Were you like, whatever? Did it have the same feeling? Probably. No. As Luke? No, <laughs> not, not even close. No. no. But hey, it was a good try, I thought. Uh, sure. <laughs> I need to sell it, Marco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I think I, the, the piece is really nice. They're, they're all really nice. Thank they're you. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, they're, 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 they're gorgeous pieces. Um, Somebody just commented to say, please tell Marco to draw more Gungans. More Gungans. Oh, wow. Is that, who, who said that? Was it Andrew Coughlin? He, that's, that's his vibe. Jones. Um, guys, if you've got any questions for, 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 for Dan, Kev or Marco, uh, please let us know. We've got, a, we've got a few minutes left with them. Um, and uh, and you know this is your this is your chance to to give them a question. It wasn't Andrew Coffey. Sorry, we've got someone who who perpetually uh, is is a just a massive supporter of the prequels, and so we'll always always go. Yeah, but what about the prequels? Yeah, but what about the prequels? I was, just, I was, I was going to say, Marco, are you going to do that sort of thing with the prequel characters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. How do we all feel yeah, about the prequels? I have, I have that plan. Okay. will drop those in two years' time. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, no, I, I like look. I like all of Star Wars. Of course, the original ones are my favorite, and I just like different storytellers will tell the story differently in their own style, and sometimes that is okay, and sometimes it's great. Sometimes it is rushed, like the Last Jedi. 
uh, not, not the last Jedi, uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker. Right. Um, but in general, I really like that world. So even when they do a flop, I'm I'm kind of okay with it. Like it's whatever. Yeah. Like there's plenty of other cool things that have that have that there are Star Wars that I'm totally okay with. Yeah. Okay, no, by agree. the way, I feel by, the, the person that asked you about the Gungans turns out it was Chris Cola. <laughs> No, I have a, I have a piece for Chris Kohler, with um, the droids in the in the factory. We've got we've he got loves a, Clone Wars. I think that's say, that the same Clone person has asked, can you ask them for beard grooming tips? I mean, I, I, I hadn't, <laughs> hadn't initially occurred to me that we had the beard crew here, <laughs> but you know, Chris doesn't Chris doesn't need tips because he can't grow one. <laughs> Um, fair, I was going to ask about oils. Kev has a nice beard, but Marco's is like immaculate. In person, it's incredible. It is. In person, it's statuesque. It feels like it comes off as one piece. It looks like as if it comes off as one piece. Yeah, it's it's one piece. Yeah, nice. Sweet. (laughs) Um, We've got a... uh, a lot of work there. (laughs) We've got a question from uh, Tom Chester. It says, will Mark... Marco ever do more work for Lord of the Rings? His enemies of Middle Earth are among my favourite ever Lord yes. of the Rings pieces. Well, you heard it here first time. Yes. There yes. you go. Yes. 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 <laughs> Done. Yes. Ask Kev if there is any chance of a JP pop up book. Ask Kev what? If there's any chance of a JP pop up book. He couldn't say if there was. He'd just smile and laugh at you. That's, I have a, I can't remember what... <laughs> that's an interesting question. Oh, is it very... <laughs> uh, I can't say. Uh, but to answer the previous question earlier on, I was working on a JP project that fell through. Next question. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, we're going to try and get through as many as possible. Gareth, where's your beard? I misplaced it. Um, jock on wheels. I don't know if that's. I, 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 no, I don't think that's the jock. Uh, do you ever get to meet the band Dan and discuss your art? Oh, um, not really. To be honest with you, a, a lot of the time, the if they're like super big bands, then no. But I, I have been able to go to some of the shows. Actually, I did one for uh, when I did one for Eddie Vedder. He was supporting the Who, so I just went to that show. That was pretty good. That was at Wembley Stadium. So that's that's probably the closest. I think if I really pushed it, I could probably get like a backstage pass or something. But I've never, I've never, I've never done that. <laughs> Maybe I'm not that, that, that sort of guy. I'm not because what am I going to do? Go oh hi. And that's it. Like I take a photo. I guess. Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what I would do if I met Dave Grohl. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what to. Uh, wouldn't know what to do if I if I met Dave. Uh, Gareth, if I can get tickets to a Foo Fighters show, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just need to let me know if you're doing Foo Fighters posters. Um, yeah. the, the, our next guests haven't haven't dropped into the uh, the call oh, yet, good. so we can keep this going for a little while. round. If you want. Um, Ruse Burgos, please come into the chat if you, I mean, I don't know if you're actually watching this, so. Um, but, uh, and, uh, and, and, and Philip also. Um, so in terms of what people have got coming up, uh, as we've got a little extra time, um, what's, uh, what's, what's on the, have we got some movie posters on the, on the horizon, Dan? Yeah, I've got lots of stuff on the horizon. It's, uh, like I, obviously I've shown nothing uh, because I have nothing that can really be revealed at the moment. But I've been working very, very hard. Um, I've got a couple of things with Bottleneck coming up actually, and I think they're literally just getting signed off at the moment. So awesome. I think they're going to be they're going to be more around. Um, I think around New York Comic Con time, the the con that never was. Um, the con that never was. Yeah. Well, I mean that's just been a whole. It's a sad situation because of me. Kevin and Marco and Vance, who's meant to be here, would normally see each other at Comic Con. Well, we the two years before COVID happened, that's when we saw each other. Um, so it's sort of a just a bittersweet sort of thing that happens at the moment. I guess I don't know. Maybe next year. I hope. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Waiting for me Sorry. to agree. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, guys, guys, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, oh, maybe you know, but perhaps they'll invite me to their houses, guys. Guys, you're gonna, and then they just go. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, um, I mean, we've got, we've seen what you guys have got coming up already. Yeah. Um, and uh, I just want to thank That's you. Right. I want to thank you all for for joining uh, for this first Amp Jam social. Hopefully, it's it's going okay, and hopefully you enjoyed. And hopefully you'll come back, and we'll ha- we'll do some uh, we'll do some some full blown sessions with you guys. It'd be great to have you. Oh hell yeah! Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for coming. Enjoy your beverages and your different beverages in different settings. And uh, and yeah, and we're gonna re- we're gonna welcome in our new our, our next guests. So thank you guys. No worries. Cheers. Bye bye. Take care, guys. Okay, so we now have two guests. We're gonna welcome in. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Juan Carlos Ruiz, Ruiz Burgos and Philip Alexandrov, aka Pixel Surgery. Hello, guys. Hey, just connecting audio. Yeah, this is li- This is all live. So Dan doesn't realise he's still in the call. It'll be fine. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Not here, guys. Uh, Mr. Juan Carlos Luis Burgos and Philip Alexandrov, aka Pixel. Oh, someone's watching it back on, not on mute. (laughs) So, hello, guys. How are we doing? Just connecting with you. This is all live. Still in the call. Yeah, no, I know you can't do anything about it. It's, it's, it's one. It's somebody who's got a. Yeah. Anyway. Whoever has the YouTube video on, could we just turn it down? It's probably me. You could just. Yeah, I can hear it. Double promo. See, like, hey, I'm supporting the show. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate all the support we get. Um, but so we're just, so we're just getting uh, the the uh, tech sorted uh, 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 for a minute. Um, how are you guys doing? Yeah, not too bad. It's Friday. It's a long weekend here, so it's all good. And you've got to get and down on Friday. Course, uh, you know, it's a big weekend. It's perfect for uh, for the jam. So long weekend, great weather, you know, beer and uh, and jam. Awesome, man. Uh, and uh, Ruiz, how are you doing? Have you got oh. audio issues? Oh. Uh-oh. Sign language? You might need to... <laughs> this is one of those typical things on... on, uh, on in, in, when, you're in, when you're working on Teams or Zoom or whatever and, and you're having to tell us... So... No, you're on mute. No. No, you're, no, you're on mute. Um, so, Philip, um, how how are you? How are you? So, you you're uh, you're going to be putting out some uh, prints, am I right? Yes, I I, I actually I think I uh, I did my store live now, so I think let, no, actually maybe it's not. So I'm gonna make my store live now. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I put up some two new prints on there. Uh, it's. Uh, Occasionally, my fan group on Facebook, I uh, I do a little auction for original painting that mm-hmm. the group votes for. Um, this time around, the group voted for Blade. Um, they fancied me to have a go at a painting of Blade, and that's what I did. And then um, someone won the original, and I also did some uh, little prints of that. Uh, so that's what's dropping on the store uh, now. Awesome. And we'll at the same the time... Up. Uh, I hope that people take the opportunity of a little uh, sell. I'm going to do 20% off on everything in the store if you buy more than one thing. Um, so that's a great deal there. Yes, I think I can hear him. We can hear him. Great. <laughs> <Sorry. Hola. laughs> well, you just came back from work, you told me, right? So, like, feeling stressed yet? Got it nice and sensitive. I'm sorry. I, I... I, I didn't understand you. Can you repeat, please? I said you just came back. You just came home, right? So I'm guessing you're pretty stressed out. Yeah, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> I, I I just okay. uh, arrived at home and, and played the the, the AMP 
En YouTube, um, I, I saw the, uh, Kevin Wilson's uh, Jurassic Park poster, but I was making dinner and, <laughs> and baby stuff, so I, I, I just saw a, a couple things. Uh, that's all. I, I heard Garrett saying, well, Ray, Ruiz Burgos is here. <laughs> 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 um, uh, importantly, what did you have for dinner? I'm sorry? Importantly, what did you have yeah. for dinner? Burger. Nice, nice, solid. Um, it was burger night, it's a Friday night, so... Friday night is burger night, awesome. Yeah, um, so, so uh, yeah, Philip, Philip, we were just saying, so you've got, uh, you've just made your store live and you've got a special discount for, for, for Amp Jam, 20, 20%, is it? Uh, I actually put 20% for anyone that orders more than one thing. More than one thing. So, so wow. that's pretty good. Uh, one thing that I'll point out, because some people don't realize, is all prices are in cheap Canadian dollars. <laughs> so like a $40 print, it's like 30 US, 32 US. So um, it's, it's, you know, the prices, like if, you, if you're thinking of American dollars, it's actually not what you're seeing. Uh, but I think every item in my store does have like an estimate of, of in the description of what it could be in Canadian dollar. Awesome. Well, we're gonna we're gonna so, show uh, some of your we're gonna show some of your prints, and I think we're gonna do a, a giveaway in in a in a bit later yes. on. But uh, right. but Ruiz, we've got some. You've brought us some files, and we're very grateful. Um, and when I saw one of them, I I I I, I was like, oh, you're doing that film? Oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, maybe we'll do that one first. Maybe we'll do that one first. So this is uh, for uh, Killer Clowns. Yeah, <laughs> it looks sick. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's it's. I mean, the detail is incredible. I mean, that's that's one of the one of the best things about your work is is just the justice. detail you go to. Just so just a small piece of. Uh, of a bigger one, of course. Um, it was crazy because that that clown has a lot of texture, and, and it was uh, it was difficult, honestly. But I enjoyed it. It was uh, different, uh, uh, colorful. <laughs> it was crazy with colors. Um, I enjoyed it. I, I didn't know the movie until they asked me to do it. Um, I watched it and it was mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I loved it. Uh, I started doing a lot of uh, concepts uh, and sketches. Uh, it it was fast, honestly. It, it was like a month of work. Um, it's a lot of uh, a lot of pieces because it's not a poster. It's a it's a vinyl soundtrack. Oh. So you had to do a lot of things. You need to do the cover. You need to do the the inside of the jacket uh, and the back. Uh, a few other things like the the, the labels for for the disc uh, and a couple of extra illustration. So it was a lot of work. But can we easily pop fun. between showing image really and not showing image? Yeah. Yeah. This year. Uh, it, it looks amazing, um, and uh, we've got uh, some more stuff to show. Honestly, you've been very generous with the files, honestly. Um, I, so, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think what we'll show next is uh, obviously your Lord of the Rings came out. I mean, the, the printed ones started landing a few like over the past couple of months, right? I think, um, and they look stunning. Uh, but you're and you're already working on the next one. I am working on the next one. I, I got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm working hard. I just started it's working good. on it. Um, it's going to be a lot of time uh, working on, on the two showers now. So I hope I, I can uh, finish it during October, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I have a baby. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> crazy right now. <laughs> Um, so what people can currently see, just a heads up, we've got uh, we've got Saruman up at the moment, um, and uh, and yeah, I mean the the length you go to is it's it's just stunning work, um, and then I think we've got another uh, we've got another image to show from the Lord of the Rings piece, and this is, is apologies, it says L O T R together, um, 
So we've got. I uh, wanted to show you how they uh, fit. Uh, oh, together. nice! Yeah, I mean, I'm just noticing the 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 map detail going through going through the middle. That's a really nice yeah. touch. Um, yeah, the map it's going to be all around the, the trilogy, surrounding the the three pieces, uh, making them just wow. It's the whole idea. It's it's a it's a it's an amazing concept. Um, uh, I, the uh, I was saying I was saying before um, we we did a little uh, chat for uh, with with Tom from Dropcast on about Amp Jam, and I said that I tend to uh, when I'm feeling nervous about an idea, I'll put something out, like about the convention, for example. I'll put out an announcement about that we're doing something, and then I've. Confir- and that confirms that I'm doing it. I have to do it now because it's in public. So here, when you've got your your by releasing the first poster with that hint of the the map, you're sort of going, yes, the map needs to be completed. You know, you you you've signed yourself up. You know, <laughs> like, well, I've started now, so I have to finish. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. I I I think they are just one big piece of art. I I did a, a, a sketch for the whole trilogy. Um, I'm doing poster that works uh, by themselves with with all the other, but you need the three to complete the, the full uh, piece. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's the whole idea uh, because I, I I think that the trilogy works in, in the same way. You you need to see the whole trilogy to 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 see the the whole history. So. You need the, the whole trilogy of, of posters to have the whole piece. It's it's yeah, it's an incredible piece. We're gonna we're gonna show another one of your of your uh, of your previews now. We've got Audrey. Here she is in all her glory. Yeah, that's another uh, vinyl soundtrack. Uh, that one is not a part of the cover. It's a, an illustration from the inside of, of the jacket of the disc. Um, that work was a total labor of love for me because I am, I, I am a big fan of the movie. The, the movie means a lot to me and uh, to my girlfriend. So I put a lot of love in, in that piece. Uh, and I, I love it working on, on it. Uh, do you know what, do you, what, uh, what label is that coming out on? What label are the two records coming out on? Do you know? What the label? The label, yeah. I can't say it. Fair, fair, yeah, that's fine. No. <laughs> it, I think they are going to be released uh, uh, at some point in autumn, but I don't have a date. Um, they told me, yeah, you can show a small uh, piece, a, a small fragment of the ad, but don't mention... Uh, fine. The, uh, don't mention well, we're grateful uh, to have it. We really are. I'm, in... guessing, I'm guessing it's being released on Death Row Records. Death Row. <laughs> Dark Knight is out of jail and it's going to be released on Death Row Records. <laughs> they're, moving, they're moving into sound trucks now. <laughs> um, we're going to move on to the, the next uh, piece, which is for uh, Leon. It's one of your. Is this one of your? Uh, is this from a post? This is a, a, a part part of a poster, right? Yeah, this is a, a piece of, of a poster, a, a small fragment. I, I just wanted to. To show you a small sneak peek of, of the big poster, it's already finished. Um, I, 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 I can't wait to, to share it in public and, and to show it to the world because I, I really love the movie. It's, it's a movie that means a lot to me too. Um, and yeah, it, it was a, a personal work just for fun. Um, I, I love it, honestly. I have to say, it's quite an affecting portrait. I think, um, I know. Um, as happy as this social is meant to be, I feel I might cry myself. Um, right. So, uh, and we've got a little, uh, a little zoom in uh, just on some of the detail work. Um, this, uh, yeah, you just, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got um, Key doing sort of chef's kiss. <laughs> so my my, uh, my my tech buddy here. You, you go on to the. Uh, we'll show people. Show people everybody. Uh, show everyone us. <laughs> um, she did chef kiss. You liked it, didn't you, Key? Yeah, she liked it. <laughs> um, thank you for showing those pieces. Um, I believe I got through all of them. Is that right? Did I? I think so. I think so. Uh, I think I showed all of them. Yeah, that, that um, was all. <laughs> 
Now, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, uh, it's that, yeah, I'm just right. Thank you. And thank you for joining us at such late notice. Um, so, um, Philip, we've got uh, some, uh, we've got a, some stuff for you to, for, to show. And you've got, you recently, you said you do, you do some pieces where you, um, you do an original sketch and then you auction it. Um, well, it's not. It, it's something I do occasionally, every now and then, just kind of you know to to um, to give the fans opportunity to you know people that that, that appreciate my work uh, to have opportunity to you know have a say of what kind of work they would like me to do. So they kind of suggest you know sometimes there's like thirty plus fifty titles that everyone just kind of like hey you we cool if you did this did this and then I make a, a Facebook poll out of it for people to vote and then you know whichever piece wins. I basically auction it out, you know, starting at one dollar, and then it goes up to whatever people feel it's, uh, you know, worth for them, valued for them, right? Um, and and that was just something that I started to kind of give people a chance to, you know, have a say and and just make you know the fan group a little bit more exciting, right? But you know, I also have done, of course, um, quite a lot of you know private commissions, uh, people that reached out, and I'm also very excited, as, as some people know. Um, I have a couple of things happening with Gallery 88. Uh, so I have uh, some work that I'll be doing for them for the end of this year and as well as next year. So I'm kind of entering this space. Um, as, as some of you know, you know, I've been a collector for a long time and, and I really enjoy doing art as well because I have a fine art background. You know, I, I went to fine art school, but then kind of due to my uh, design career, I kind of stopped painting. But then like over 10 years ago when I started to kind of enter the AMP scene as a collector and started buying posters, I was like getting all, you know, super excited and and um, and inspired to do my own art, you know, and that's kind of where it started to go. Um, so, you know, I haven't necessarily done any full 2436 uh, AMP myself yet, but I'm like super hyped to get one done. Awesome. Uh, I'm still trying to kind of figure out, you know, my technique, how I can translate it, if I should continue, you know, with the traditional that I always do, because my work is right now 100% traditional, except for digital color pass that I do after, um, or if I should kind of go fully digital. I I'm probably going to find like a middle ground, like a few other artists do, where I start traditionally, then I scan it in and kind of work on the composition there. So I'm awesome. looking forward to, you know, bring some main piece to the scene, and I appreciate, you know, of course, uh, having an opportunity to, uh, to take part in the AAP Jam. We're going, to, we're going to show some some of your work. Uh, do you have a particular preference that we'd like to show first? We've got uh, we've got. Uh, not really. You know, you show whatever you think it's uh, you fancy there. Well, uh, we'll show. Uh, we've got a piece from you, uh, from you uh, by, for Blade. Uh, so let's let, let's show. That's one of your that's your most recent piece. And I know uh, you've got a giveaway soon. Is that is that for this piece or is that for something? Uh... So so basically. Uh... I did, um, I did a vote in my group a few years ago asking people what format they would like me to do my, my prints at and 8 by 10 won. And, and I think it won because people feel like they can have more of them in their house, I guess. You know, like some of us who collect the 2436s, there's a certain limit to the wall space, right? Uh, so 8 by 10 was quite a popular format and that's what I kind of been continuing doing. I've occasionally started recently going a little bit larger. So the... The blade prints will be 8x10. They are actually up on my store right now. Uh, you can go to pixelsurgery.ca and then you can go store and then you'll find my store there. Um, it, they are really, really high resolution GC prints. You know, I, I print on top quality heavy stock paper with some of the best Canon inks that, that are available. So they're really good quality prints. Um, but the today's giveaway that I guess you can share more information about the, how we're going to do it in a minute, it's going to be a one of one edition of 11 by 14. So it's going to be a bit larger size and there's only one. So it's numbered one on one and signed. Um, so, you know, if I ever blow and become famous, you have one of one. If I don't... <laughs> and I it, and is, that, so is, that for, is that for Blade, yeah? That's right. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's for the colored variant of blade, but it's a one-on-one -on -one edition. The colored variant. So we'll show the we'll show the colored variant. And I have a question that uh, that Philip has prepared for this. Let me just get it up and make sure uh, and make sure I get it right because I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, to uh, Buddy Paul who helped me come up with the question. Okay, thank you, Paul. That'll be Paul Tate, I guess. 
Yeah. The SS guy, the triple P guy. <laughs> okay, so uh, so uh, during the chase with Officer Krieger, the vamp. So this is ob- in Blade, obviously, obviously. Um, <laughs> during the chase with Officer Krieger, the vampire on the side of the bice- on the side of the road biting the girl's neck is actually the director. Who directed Blade? And uh, just, I don't know if there's a delay, but I'm actually seeing my Mandalorian right now and not Blade being shown. It's, it, there is a delay, yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll uh, await an answer. Um, right, so so uh, the print is actually printed. So I want to show you whoever's going to win it. This is the print you're going to get. Awesome. So you can see the profile of uh, of Wesley on the side here, and of course you see them uh, guys fighting at the bottom uh, with all the glyphs of different uh, vampire houses going around, uh, and then of course Wesley there as well, uh, with uh, looking all badass. So uh, this is the actual. Uh, we have a winner, Phil. Already, this is the actual original painting. Well, that's the original the painting. painting. Awesome. With white paint. Um, and you know, anyone who fancies more of the original look, there is going to be there is a black and white original high resolution print of that as well. Awesome. So it's Steve Norrington is is the director, not the winner. Um, although, I mean, if he were he were watching, he would probably win, though, wouldn't he? Because he knew he know he knows what he did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, two four oh six Jimbo. Wait, I have, I have like, sec- I, I think it's George Lucas, isn't it? I see. Flory says it's George Lucas. Yeah, I mean, Flory could be right. <laughs> um, let's fit back to, uh, to to the cameras. Um, so yeah, well, two four oh six Junebug. If you can uh, drop a message to uh, Amp Jam, so that's at Amp Jam Con. Uh, we will uh, and and send uh, send us your details and we'll and we'll and we'll get that sorted out. And congratulations on winning the print. Sorry to everybody else. It was the fastest thing at first. We got quite a few uh, well, submissions there. One get, this one happened much faster than I thought. So um, so can I do one more giveaway? Oof. Yes. All right. <laughs> The first person to tell me the director of that movie in the comments wins free print and free shipping for this one. And this one's going to be really hard. So fast fingers, you guys ready? The director of this movie. I don't see it yet. Nobody's. <laughs> let's see. Let's see who gets it first. Let's just wait to see who wins. We're just waiting for the comments to come it's in. It's a hard one. I know it's hard. I it is hard. hard. So it's very difficult, isn't it? We're just showing the and, print now. Um, and I guess the tricky part now is which movie you're gonna choose, right? I'm just wait, wait, waiting for All it right. to come in. Oh, here we go. Barry McCroggan. Barry okay. McCroggan, you have won. Sorry, Flory. Too late, buddy. <laughs> Which Ben Bao was <laughs> close. Ben Bao was close, but yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um... So thank you for doing those giveaways, and we'll we'll share your we'll share your link. Um, I appreciate and, it, guys. Uh, yeah, man, it's a, it's a, we we appreciate uh, you you contributing to the uh, <clears throat> to the event and and yeah, giving uh, giving away some uh, some sweet art. Um, Ruiz, uh, yeah, I mean you've obviously shown us quite a lot of what you've got coming up already, but is there anything you can talk about? I mean, or 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 you can talk about you know how dinner was if you want. It's 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 up to you. I think I that that's all the the the, the small teasers I send you. Mm-hmm. It's 
<laughs> no, 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 no. That's fine. No, no. I wasn't. I wasn't saying. I wasn't asking. I wasn't necessarily asking for more. I was like, if you want to talk about anything, uh, then, then, uh, then, then, please feel free. Um, but uh, guys, it's uh, it's 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 been great to have you. I think we we could. Um, no, my mind's gone blank. Sorry, sorry. It's late. It's late. It's, 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 I've been through a, through a bit. Um, right. Yeah, you've so, been awesome. You know, I, I want to say also, like, you know, um, thank you. Thank you for making this event. You know, I, I think it was awesome what you did last year, especially when I think most of us around the globe been in the lockdown and couldn't attend any conferences and all those things. Um, and, you know, and, and to see that this is, this was not like a one off thing last year that you continuing it and, and, you know, giving great space for, of course, you know, established artists, but also for the guys like me who kind of just, you know, really kind of trying to fight through the field of, you know, amazing artists out there and, and trying to kind of do art and get noticed. Um, like, I, I don't think you really fully realize how much it means to, to guys like me, uh, but I'm sure, you know, other artists appreciate it too. So thank you very much, Garrett. <laughs> And I very much appreciate you and, of course, everyone else on your team, what you guys are doing. Awesome work. Key two. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you very much, guys. Um, thank you, Alex. It's, uh, if, we'd love to have you both back um, if, uh, if you're up for that. And, hey, and like we'll I do... mentioned, uh, next year, a live sketch or something like that. I'm totally down for it. That'd be awesome. That'd no, be awesome. Uh, next, next year, I, I won't be alone. <laughs> I will came with all the painters. Um, yeah, nice. I, I, I'm sure we will enjoy it. Um, I, I can't wait for next year event. That's thank, thank you, you so much for for coming and and the fact that you you know you're here and you st and you still want to come back. You know you've, we've amazing. put you through the past half an hour and you're like yeah more please. That's great. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna bring in our in our next guests, and I thank you uh, for for this. Um, and uh, I know it's a bit late where you are, Ruiz. Uh, is it eleven, twelve, and, it, and and it's and it's a bit early, and what is it, mid afternoon for you, uh, Philip? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's getting five here, so um, it's you know it's weekend really starting now. <laughs> Get this party started. Have a uh, have a great weekend, guys, and obviously Thanks catch everyone. Some... And again, anyone wondering, you know, pixelsurgery.ca is your place. <laughs> we're we're going to tweet the link. <laughs> thanks, guys, and uh, thanks, uh, Burgos. Take care and uh, get your feet, man. Thank you both. Thanks, Cheers. Cheers. Bye. 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 Okay. We're going to welcome in. A bunch of we're going we're to welcome in. Okay, here's how here's how this next uh, section is going to go. We are welcoming in people from 2020, from Amp Jam 2020 plus Flory. <laughs> um, hi guys, we've got Matt Griffin, <laughs> who's changed his surname to iPhone, and uh, we've got Peter Diamond, who's joined his two names uh, to make one mega name. Um, and uh, and we've got Flory, and there's going to be some other people joining us at some point. Um, at some point. Am I live? You're loud. We're loud. Hey, that's Peter. We're loud. How are you, buddy? You doing, man? I'm good. I'm how, good. How are people? How are people? How are you doing? We're great. Um, I've been watching, and what I've realized is that um, everybody has their really cool studio backgrounds, and a, a special mention to Kevin Wilson's, uh, which is just Tiki the Bell. coolest fucking thing ever. <laughs> and I'm here, I'm here on my couch in my TV room so uh, at home. <laughs> so we had, we had a, little, uh, a little bet going around about how long it would take Matt Griffin to swear. I think that was, what, 20 seconds? It was. Did I curse? Maybe fifteen. You uh, said. Curse, you said, no, "Here I, I am with my." You, know, yeah. you did. We've got some more people waiting. Oh, for fuck's sake! Jesus. <laughs> do you know? What, do you know? What, and my mum may be watching right now. Um, but uh, my mum says uh, she. Okay, mom. My mum says she fucking hates swearing. And, oh, I'm sorry. And do you know what? She fucking does. So uh, we've got Mr. Sam Gilby. Oh, Sam, everybody. Hey, Sam. Woo. All right. Um, 
People were given 10 o'clock, but you know, it's late. They might come in late or not. That, that, Sam, you're only one minute late. There are other people who, 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 are, still, who are still on their way. Um, so everybody so, so, so. apart from Flory, who, uh, who is... No, uh, Flory's there. Huh? I see Flory. No, 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 I know he's there. No, I know he's there. I'm saying everybody apart from Flory took part last year. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Well, we we need to take uh, we need to take bets on who's got the best sort of geek den going. I mean, Matt, you're out. Clearly me. Sorry. Um, Clearly me. Sorry. <laughs> check that shit out. Whoa. Fair. Oh, yeah. Four. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, Flory, what time is it where you are right now? Uh, Seven o five a.m. Seven o five a.m. Whoa. And well, what are you? I what are you drink? And, well, thank you for joining drink. us so early. I was <laughs> going to say, what are you drinking? Is it now? You drinking coffee, uh, or have you not got that far? No, I'm just just up and shower and into the chair, man. Nice. To hang out with all you jammers. Get jamming. <laughs> Getting ja- Yeah, we're amp jamming. That is true. Um, so. Uh, Thank you uh, to those. Who, to those, I mean, thank you, Flory, for joining us at such yeah. an early hour. Um, the 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 uh, the guys who were here last year. Thank you for coming back. I wanted to have there to be part of this social uh, where we had uh, where we tipped the cap to the the the, the people who who uh, who were with us uh, in 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 twenty twenty. The artists that joined us. Um, it means a lot that you, as I was saying, like. That, that you got over the trauma of last year and you're like, yeah, sign me up again. Is that like, it's like a Stockholm syndrome or something. Yeah, no, I mean, it was, last year was great. Like last year was, it was amazing that you went and, you know, made this thing happen when we all had nothing, you know, everything was sort of taken away from us, all the normal things we used to doing, the comic cons and stuff, and which is where we, where it's where I see, you know, posed to people for real. Every, you know, and that was in a few times a year, but it, it really became obvious how much, you know, that was missed. So if you could go and set this up, you know, it was great. So yeah, very happy to be back and also amazing to see how it's, you know, expanding and it's more ambitious and, you know, posters coming out left, right and centre is epic. Some might say too ambitious. Mm. Some, those people <laughs> might be me. Um, uh, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, uh, Peter, how's it going? Your your uh, piece for Hunger got uh, got revealed this week for, yes. for Mondo. Uh, yes. Very different, very different piece from you in terms of your movie poster output thus far. Yep. Um, feeling good about it? I think yeah. the reaction to to the whole set has been has been pretty great. It's quite a set, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's a definitely uh, a thrill to be. I mean, I didn't actually know that there was all these other posters coming out. I, I don't know how organized it was from mondo's end uh because when when we did it it was just was just thinking of it as this one poster uh, but yeah it turns out there's a whole crowd of these really great posters for uh for the ifc films and yeah i, I had no idea i was part of it but the, now that i've found out i'm, I'm, I'm honored extra so li- literally on the announcement it's like ta-da do they say ta da? Do they actually use the words ta da? <laughs> um, we've got Matt Ferguson asking, "Where's the link?" We're going to get him in. Uh, we get uh, bless him or, or or poor game by us for not giving him. Email you peanut. It probably is in his email. Uh, like Key doesn't tend to miss things. She's very good at that. You're very good, aren't you, Key? Thank you. I am. She's amazing. Yeah. She's good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Flora, you're joining us. I mean, in only a few hours, really. It's good. So you're, yeah, so it's this, all day for it's all day for me. Like, it is an all day. Got, I'll just get on this because we've got a four year old, so I'm up anyway. And I was like, oh well, I'll, I'll get in in the morning, and then I'll just have a day, and then I'll come back later on. What, like, um, it's 10 p.m. for me. I'll be back on, <clears throat> and then a bit, maybe a bit later than that as well. We'll see how we go. It's a big day. We jam and all day. And I hope you like jamming too. Sorry. Oh, no. see? Uh, Jesus, I'm hanging off. Fuck this. I'm out. Like, yeah, I missed something. Um, I uh, did, yes. 
Yeah. We're just trying to get the we're just trying to get the Fergie at the moment. Uh, Sam, you've been on holiday. Thank you for we we, we I, I thought you wouldn't be back till Sunday, but you're here for we've got you for more stuff then. I just had to come back for Amsterdam too. I said to my, my family, you know, it's been great, but I've got to I've got to get back. Now, um, Tuesday, I had a lovely holiday in the Lake District, and just had a week. We're at a wedding in the Lake District, and then we had a week where we stayed there. Uh, my wife's family's in Manchester. So we, we kind of came back by by a black pool, went there, and then I mean I just have basically have loads of the thing when you take time off it, as everyone knows, then you just have loads to catch up with. Now we've got loads of crazy deadlines, and I just have to basically get back and hit the ground running. So I think I'm refreshed. It's been lovely, but yeah, back back at it. It's the class. I had a week off. Now I've got to work all weekend. <laughs> but I'm very grateful to be so busy. So that's the thing. I'm doing something I love, drawing stuff. Yeah, I can I can second that emotion pretty much exactly. I just got back from uh, vacation myself, and yeah, the, the hitting the ground running thing I've never managed to actually make that work. No, it's like I hit the I'm, ground running, but then I fall on my face, yeah. and like it's another two weeks usually before I'm even close to back in the saddle. I've been mixing metaphors, part pardon me. Well, I'm back in lockdown here, so I'm not. I haven't been fucking anywhere, so you can all shout about your holidays. <laughs> <laughs> well, they reckon we'll be we'll be in until Christmas. So. Oh, oh no. Jesus Christ! Fun times. God, that that sucks. So, have you got any more podcasts you want me to do? I'm I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> Flory, available for podcast. What would you do podcasts on, Flory? Um, well, you've seen me do the Vice Press one, so literally anything, because that's a show about posters where we don't really talk about posters, <laughs> just go, go on and on about whatever. And I'm assuming that's what will end up happening here as well. I can talk, put it that way. Well, we, I think I think we've got Ferg. I think he's here. Oh, here he is. Man. That's good because it'll make my squares more even enough. Yeah, we did like. Drive. And I was and hey. composition is uh, is a key theme for this year, and it was not working for me. Uh, and the, the five, it needed to be a six. This is um, the bit where you're too close and you're clicking. your like, where's my video? Is my mic on? Can you hear me? Can hear you. Hey, yes. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, managed to rope Matt into this one, uh, even though we basically got him for all day uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, you saw Shang Chi today, and you're very, very impressed with it. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it's top, top tier. Top tier. My wife, my wife said said just ten minutes ago she thinks it's probably top six out of all of them. Top six of all film or, or Marvel, Marvel movies. <laughs> That's the second time I've heard that today. Well, it, it was top five according to Tom. But I was going to say, did you have to, did you put in? Like, it feels like because. Like I mean, five is is the obvious is that is sort of you know the you know top five or top ten. It feels like we've had to add Shang Chi in. You know, you've had to make it top six in order to incorporate. I've got to love uh, Sam Gilby changing the light yeah, really. color. Not yeah, the subject. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see it in a month and a half when it comes out on digital. When you're allowed to leave. My first one that I've missed out of twenty three thousand films I've released. It's the first one I won't see in the in the theater. Sad face. You know what? I could say something which will pretty much kill my poster career right here. You've right never now. seen one. He's never seen a Marvel movie. No, I just I no, I've seen them. I just don't like them very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I <laughs> hey, sure. you just keep getting worse. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you. I, I hear you. Although I am looking forward to Shang Chi, despite not being a big MCU fan, fair. I'm contractually yeah. contractually obliged to be a huge fan, but also I'm a huge fan. Always <laughs> have been. I went to a comic yeah. book shop and I read all yeah, the Marvel comics, and it just yeah, I hate Marvel, obviously. Yeah. Judging, yeah, you. yeah, you hate it. It's clear you hate it, Lloyd. Mm. Transformers, that's Marvel. See, that was all my Marvel people. Wasn't True. It? Fair enough. Yeah. Do you guys not find it loses a little something in 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 moving from the one medium to the other? Yeah. I'm the, I'm the CGI final third. I think. I think the, the, M- I think I think the MCU movie. is the is I think the MCU is the best Marvel universe at this point. 
own, if only because it hasn't been bogged down in 70 years of continuity and right, right. Yeah, it's it's it's, right. It's, they've crafted it with care as they've gone along. Um, I'm sure at some point, and we may be getting to the verge of that now, but apparently this one's really good, where something doesn't hit or there's a character there's that comes in and from is Sophie a bit Land average or doesn't gel. I think like there's a lot of carry on about Captain Marvel and stuff like that, but I think that's a lot of horse shit. Yeah, well, uh, Captain I think so far, five, man. Captain Marvel. Yeah, Marvel's so far brain. they've done Marvel very well. Um, in in forty more films, I don't know, do they reboot it themselves or what? But I think I think they've done well uh, and. You can't expect the thing that gets me as well. Oh, that's not what the Hulk would have done in Endgame. I was like, well, he fucking did in this one. Like, yeah, yeah. That, like make Absolutely. changes. If it was exactly the same as the comic and I knew everything that was going to happen in Civil War or whatever, it'd be Why would you watch it? Yeah, yeah well, exactly. I mean, well, people, get, people get mad about all sorts of decisions in films, don't they? It's like mm. what, they, what they did to Luke Skywalker. Yeah, they did it. Get over it. But if you don't like it, don't watch it. Just be like Matt Griffin. Just don't watch it and be wrong. <laughs> oh, no, look, I do. I do watch it. Yeah, I mean, I watch. I watch all of them, but I just don't. I don't like. Uh, that's just. Yeah. <laughs> then stop that's watching. Them. You. That doesn't make sense. If I don't like something, no, because I, I feel it. like you know, <laughs> I feel like the next one is going to be really good. Like Iron Man, the first one. It's, I thought it's that like was eating, it's like eating your vegetables. Iron Man. Man Iron Man anyway. is average, man. I've, I never even really liked that Iron Man that much. So oh okay. well. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't I, change, I changed my mind. Berg said it's not that I've changed my mind. I never liked it either. Right. <laughs> but if, if, no, I liked it. Iron Man. I liked it. I just think that yeah. the others are better. I think yeah, Iron Man three is the best Iron Man movie. If you start out crazy. ranking them and you watch from number one, yes, it's number one. But like as you go along, things <laughs> progress and we expand. Yeah. It's the third well, act. It's, it's just the CGI third act. I, I love them up until yeah. I think. Uh, two thirds through the movie, and now it just descends into oh, I'm watching a cutscene well, in the video feel, game. Now. Yeah, they do feel like they have to have that big action. Well, it's the ones that break from that 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 I think work the best, like a Doctor Strange or something, where he doesn't hmm. fight the bad guy. Oh yeah, I like the Captain guy. Marvel, where he's like, "Come on, put your weapons yeah, down." <laughs> Fucks him up, and she's just like, <laughs> "Oh yeah, I got time for that." So when you when you pull away when you spin off that a bit, I think that works best. But you're right; it can it can. Can you explain to me what Ryan devolve said. into just a bunch of crap on screen? I need to know what it is. Yeah. But what else? Yeah, to watch DC it. films or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel yeah, bad. bad. Iron Man came out in 2008, and then obviously Dark Knight was, you know, arguably the bigger movie of the time than what everyone was talking about. Mm. Um, and then Iron Man was just like, okay, Marvel are doing it too. In a, and then, it's like, whatever, 12 years later, obviously, you know, the Marvel films are still coming and coming. I'm, I'm, just, I'm so excited to see where they're going now. Now they've kind of done so many of the main, what would, you know, the main kind of, the, mm. the, the iconic characters that people who don't read the comics would not, know. And now they're going further out, and it's just so exciting. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with that. Mm. It's I wanted. I want to see dudes that I... Being a big Marvel guy, I don't particularly know what they've been up to since I maybe read like two issues 30 years ago. That, that's what I want to see yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's where we're going with, you know, Shang-Chi and um, oh, it's Eternals. It's so good. Honestly, it's like so that. good. Fuck, shut up, man. It's not fair. It's really fucking good. <laughs> Split my desk it's got and... such good kung fu action in it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. It's good. You see, that, that makes uh, it a lot more interesting for me. Like... I, I like Matt. I've watched most of them, and it, yeah, it's not that I, I aggressively dislike them. They just don't mm. do a lot for me. But bringing the whole kung fu thing into it, yeah, I, I find myself a lot more interested. And also, it's like you know, like you said, I don't have any baggage with that character at all. Like I have no expectations yeah. of what it's going to be like. So yeah, yeah, that's a I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. Mm. So what? So. Given that you've just been talking about Marvel for a while, can we just clarify what the best Marvel movie is? And we'll just do like a maybe maybe a three, two, one. Because I feel like Matt Matt Griffin's answer is going to be affected by what Matt Ferguson says. So know, it second, needs to be all at the same time. Tobey Maguire and Doctor Octopus. That was that was that's that's very good. good. <laughs> do you mean <laughs> best <laughs> MC? Do you mean best MC? Well, let's do best? let's do one and then the yeah, other. So like, let's go for let's go for oh, MC please, best oh, MCU please. movie. Best MCU is Endgame, but um, 
I don't think it's the best film, if that makes any okay. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but it, I, I'll never forget the kind of um, just being this kid that read the comics and knew all the characters and all that stuff. And no one in the back in the day, no one gave a shit. You were just like this weirdo that was sitting on the floor tracing these funny books, you know, like drawing all the pictures out of them and stuff. And to come back uh, to like, you know, to be an old man and to be sitting there in a theatre with a screen the size of the world and just watching every character you grew up with in this epic yeah. thing. Well, I cried in that movie just because it was, it was too much happening. Like I couldn't take it all in that, in that, on that first um, premiere night. And I think just to give you that feeling is, is a special thing. Um, yeah. So I, I usually put it, I'll put it at the top. And I think, it, I think for yeah. what it is, it shouldn't be as rewatchable and work as well as it does. Um, Infinity War might be like a better movie. Um, like I love Ant-Man, I love Doctor Strange. But yeah, you're just starting to reel off the films now, dude. Yeah, I'll <laughs> yeah. say 22 yeah, films in a second. That's because I love them all. That's Chris. the thing. There's, I, I think there's a lot of different yeah. stuff in there and I, I watch different ones at different times depending on what you feel like. But anyway. So just to clarify, go. we've had Flory say Endgame, Everything. but <laughs> did we hear anybody else's? No. Well, I, I told you I can I'm talk if you want me to talk. Endgame. Endgame is the best. Endgame. Endgame is the best, but like in a way, Infinity War, I love the intensity of that, the way it just keeps mm. coming, keeps building, you know, the inevitability of Thanos and everything, uh, just racing through the whole film. Um, but then Endgame is like almost more of a meditation in some ways. You've got the amazing action scene at the end, obviously, but it's just, it's the way it built, it's built upon whatever the 20 ish films before it. So, like the callback of, like, you know, on your left, mm. that is just oh. so powerful. You know, yeah. so it's like a callback to, what is that, eight films before, but it's mm. such a powerful moment. Um, and that's, like, to me, like, I can't think, there's nothing else that's ever done that. No no other, there's never been anything like it that, that can, it's sort of this, this incredible, what you've got, you, you know, and for you, so it's just, it, it's the way it's built up over time. So Endgame is, is you know, this has to be the, the ultimate. I mean, it could have been terrible, but it really isn't. It really pulls everything together so well. There's so much they're trying to do and tie up. I perfect, think it should have been but, terrible, really. Like, look at what they're yeah. dealing with, how much there is to, like you say, 23, 22 films, all those characters. And it doing that the way they did with Infinity War, sort of splitting, you've got your, your you've got sort of different crews going around. And I think it, everyone does, no one gets short shrift except for maybe black widow or something they're not being around in the end um yeah Yeah. they really shouldn't work but they do okay peter diamond looks like he just he's oh lord uh there's just uh, i'm I'm, I'm the wrong guy to ask and and i'm sure they're not the best ones but the ones i like the most are probably not in order of favoriteness but probably the logan and doctor strange and uh, Spider Man, I guess the first one, maybe. I'm coming. Okay. I didn't realize Logan counters. That's number. I don't. One. I don't even know if it does. This is the thing. I'm probably I think it might do now though it's... because of the multiverse. <laughs> but so uh, that all counts, doesn't it? The multiverse has made it all count. I just don't get why Civil War wasn't mentioned in that whole thing. Where was Civil War? Because Civil War is good, but it's not as good as the ones that we've already mentioned. Okay. That's why I've been I've been watching Civil War a lot for certain reasons. Mm-hmm. Hint, hint. Um, oh, and, and some of wow. it, 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 some of it, even that action that was like, it was, it was a similar thing. You're like, oh my god, how is this all happening on a screen? These are all my characters. But looking at it now, it does feel quite small and weird that they're just in an empty airport and stuff like that. There's parts of it that uh, feel weird. old. They feel old already, which is yeah. which is crazy to say. Oh, but then I have it's to got, say, it's, after seeing Shang Chi today, all okay. of the action. Even pretty much most of Endgame seems pretty tame. Oof. Really, really good choreography in it. Really good. Well, I, I think there's I have realised... There's a bit where he does, he does a pose and mm-hmm. the way the camera goes and then oh, it's one of the coolest shots ever. It's really good. I was like, well, that is good. I think... <laughs> I think I've been noticing in the last couple of years that I just, I think I have like special effects fatigue or something um, that when, when I saw the Mandalorian and how much they did with like practical effects, 
I don't know if that has anything to do with what you're saying, Matt, with the, the action just being... Yeah, it's because it's all one shot. It's, right? it, they don't do the yeah. quick cuts. It's like, pulls back Hong Kong style, and they're just going at it, and it's really like, yeah. wow, that's really Oh, good. that's great. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. you got to see, because then you know that the actors have learned the sequences, yeah. not just like, what, not just one punch and then cut. So it's, then you can see that they've trained. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm Pretty such cool. a huge Kung Fu fan, I'm not have time to go yet, but oh, I can't wait. So I, I think it's a bit of a homage to like both like like Hong Kong action cinema, like Jackie Chan, right? With the Jackie sort of Chan real world stuff. And Crouching then, uh, Tiger stuff. Yeah. Uh, Studio Wyatt, Ghibli Wyatt stuff. stuff. Well. Marvel yeah. stuff. It's like all uh, these influences, it's really good. <sighs> Killing me. Oh, man. And, <laughs> did they, is there a. Did you. Did they have Avatar they, thrown in there for good luck as well. Did they do like a, a kind of? Did they credit like Brad Allen? Did they do like a little? Was it too like? Because he put the stunt coordinator just passed away. Yeah, like, I didn't see. A, so. I didn't see like a thank you or anything. But he is really obviously or was a really yeah. amazing stunt dude. It was like wow, really good. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. And Tony Tony Young as the baddie is yeah. his dad, the, the Mandarin. He's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because he was in, we've seen the uh, Grand Master. That no. film. Because he never really, he was more of a, I don't think he'd ever really done a martial arts film. Or, um, he's more dramatic, he's, like Infernal Affairs dramatic. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And then he trained super hard, like Grand Master, for like four years. Um, <laughs> and then, it's, again, it's coming back to do some more in this. But yeah, he's an awesome, awesome actor. He's a really good actor. In movies. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to invite some more people in in a few minutes. I just want to say, if, any, if anybody wants to ask some questions, uh, please feel free. Do you because want to we've talk got about anything else like posters instead of just movies. That's movies. why I was teeing it up, Matt. All right. Yeah, I, I, I thought I, I got that. Does that? But you, does that mean we have to leave? If do I have to go? No, because no. You're inviting other people in. No, no, no. It's Maybe just going to expand. Maybe we don't feel like we're welcome anymore. I didn't, I didn't get up for fucking 20 minutes of airtime. There you Come go. You're gonna, it's, the, the group will expand. Just just hold your horses. I'm just, uh, uh, just, I hope I'm not the only one drinking alcohol, even though this is not beer. I'm, no, I'm cool. drinking yeah. uh, Twin Fin, which is a Spiced that? Golden Rum from Cornwall. And I'm driving. Key <laughs> well, is not drinking anything yeah. because she's driving. Um... But yeah, if anybody's got uh, some specific questions uh, that they'd like to ask, uh, please feel free. Um, we've got, so, I think most of you, well, not all of you, but some of you have got stuff coming out this weekend. Matt Griffin's got a hell of a thing coming out. That's not a, that's not a, that's not a, a euphemism. His poster that he's got coming out is pretty insane. It's um, really good. It's a when we're gonna it, we're gonna reveal it in the vice press oh. session, right? Uh, yeah, I think we'll be in there. And then we'll chat about it in the Matt Griffin session a few hours later. I don't really pay attention. I don't really pay attention. You don't. You, you just it's gotta be in front of my face. Spot, 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 spot. If it's Transformers, then we pay attention. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> see, see. Um, but uh, no yeah, well, I can't. We're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about my poster, guys, and you said yeah, oh, Transformers right, right, came right, up. Right, and right. Sorry, you know, we started saying Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. I started watching the G One cartoon because they put it on YouTube. All of series one is just free on Hasbro YouTube. And uh, that, that's I've been still watching that while I've been exercising. It's really cool. Joe Wong asks. Here's a perfect. This is an excellent poster question. He says, what's your perfect Sunday? I'm going to assume that that's a Hot Fuzz reference. Uh, anybody? Perfect Sunday? Perfect well, Sunday. I'll, I'll start if you want. Um, because we've decided this Sunday we're going to have a pyjama Sunday. So oh, we're nice. just going to wear pyjamas all day. I don't wear pyjamas, so I'm going to put pyjamas on. Yeah, that'd be a morning. problem for me. Uh, and the kid's going to wear pyjamas. And the wife's going to wear pyjamas. And we're just going to watch... Amp films. Jam. You're going to watch Amp Jam together? No, we're going to watch and... films and <laughs> we're going to watch films and eat crap and just have a nice time all day. Oh, I've just realised nice. that, that, that sounds good. Right? It does sound good, but I have just realised that it's 
that pajama is almost an anagram of Aunt Jan. Anyway. Okay. I'm doing uh, Undercrackers, Undercracker Sunday. Undercracker I'm Sunday. Just gonna, I'm just yeah. going to land around on my Undercrackers. Undies. <laughs> undercrackers, I love it. Tidy Whitey Sunday is another one I like to do. <laughs> <laughs> spots, 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 spots. We send each other like a gift. That's a gift that I made when we talk about Transformers. Bots, bots, bots. Bots, 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 bots. Yeah, got it. Um, the problem is a real problem. Anyway, his 2001 poster is really good. It is really good. Macrofin. It is really Thank good. Thank you. So he Sorry, can do that and just say what it is either. because it's his company. <laughs> Thank James you. James is probably going to me. It nearly killed me, but uh, the result it was worth it. Best My ones are the ones Sorry. that nearly kill you. Those the, the ones that actually saying, kill you. I kept on saying no. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and I quit. I packed it in, and then you said, in. "I said your your response." Week. Yeah. Come back in a week. I was like, "There's no fucking way I'm going back in a week. You can fuck off." <laughs> and I, I was back in like three days. <laughs> We've got it set for 18 and yeah, over only, guys. Though. So you're actually okay. Because <laughs> that's the same with with me as well. Like every single time, we'll just be like. What was I do? I was drawing a face the other day and it's like, that nose isn't right. And so I fixed the nose. The nose isn't right. I said, I fixed the nose. It's not right. And then you're just like, well, fuck this then. I'm never doing this again. And then he'll just come back like the next day with like a little, like this one line of like, you, you could just push it, like just push the bottom up a bit. And then you start thinking, like, oh, fuck, here we go. We're back in. <laughs> We're going again. And then eventually you have a good poster. It's sort of I like art direction, poster. art direction in the form of torture, sort of thing. <laughs> it's because yeah. uh, art direction, all it's about, I've found out, is you you know what you want it to look like. Like I myself, I know what I want it to look like. Mm. So I'm just waiting for you morons to make the poster <laughs> look correct. <laughs> <laughs> and that could take many, many. Well, the many, weird, many, it's the weird many, thing many that I do it as well. Your concept, well, you know, the rough concept is always kind of like better in some ways than the final because you get that initial yeah. really amazing idea and then you've got to finesse it. And then in the finessing of it, you can lose yep. the life. Absolutely. Yep. And okay. it's about all the time. wrangling it back yeah. to that original concept. And that's all yeah. it is. And it's always, always that, mid, the that midpoint yeah. where you lose that energy completely because you've like, you know, you've, I don't know how everyone else works, but you've blocked out your colours and sort of each character or whatever, so you've got your bits and pieces and it all just sort of looks flat and shit and you're kind of looking at yeah. it going, well, I know this has like way, there's going to be a lot of work to actually get this anywhere, if at all, and it's so much of the time is it looking terrible and so you get around to that sort of like last couple of hours of working on it and you're like, mm. hey, yeah. Yeah, this might come around. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've always the the, the of like doing the sketch is like so exciting. It's like, oh yeah, this is it, this is it. And then you've got what hours, days, weeks, however long it works. And then you only know it's starting to work again is like when you start to feel excited again because it's like mm -hmm. each brush stroke feels like it's improving it instead of making it worse. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's a whole bit where it's just like 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 you say that you just the sketch feels better because it you just did it in five seconds. Yeah. Um, but I think you can lose sight of it as well. I think it can. I think what you're doing is just like it's coming along. And if anyone else saw it at that point, they'd be like, well, well, that's cool. But in your head, you've lost that feeling that you had. Every, every image I make is a battle against being shit. That's how I see it. It's yeah. a wrestling it's so match. Deep. Yeah, that's how it is. It's man. so yeah. deep. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's or, or put, that on, put that on a t shirt. That's why we don't really like to show the process so much because we just. Hmm. just Think, look at that trash, trash, mm. trash, trash, trash. And make people seem interested in seeing how you got to the end point, but I, I, it, it's painful. That's not what I wanted to show you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to invite yeah, some yeah. people in. Go on, go do it. Okay. I'm going to invite in. Time, so it stays balanced. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so that's going to be. Oh, no, actually, no, because it's nine, which is fine. Uh, we've got Andrew Rowland. Hello, where is it? He's coming. Uh, Mark Bell. Hello, Mark. And Sophie Bland. All right. Hello, Sophie. Hey, Sophie. Hello. 
Hey, Mark. Hey, Andrew. There you go. Hey, I know that, Mark. How are we doing? Oh, it's Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi. How are you, Mark? <laughs> How are you doing, <laughs> Where, where's, my, where's my Transformers quads? Mark, don't, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> not here. Not now. Not. <laughs> Just having a private conversation. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, no, I got Mark's that. Was... There's a trilogy that's really good, by the way, everyone. For Vice Press, he's done a pretty cool set of posters. Yes, we're revealing them very shortly. Yeah, I didn't know that was happening. Yeah. It's, 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 unless, unless Mark, and this? it's what I've been oh, yeah, told. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't care. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, there we go then. So that, it, that's, that's one of the things we're here to do. Um, guys, yeah. hello. How are, you, how are you doing? Sophie, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How how is everyone? I've been watching for the last hour or so. But how is everyone? Poor you. I've been very good. <laughs> trying to hold things together. It's going all right. Yeah. Mark, how I'm you doing? I'm trying to secretly yeah, bake doing good, man. unsuccessfully. I'm doing good. I've been watching for a while. Oh, no. and, uh, been logged onto the chat for about an hour and a half. I've got a message is off you, cool? Gareth, just kind of saying you're on t- way too early. What chat's <laughs> this? What chat's been going on an hour and a half? No, 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 no. There isn't a no. <laughs> no. There's in a order to try and well, if you want to, in order to try and make this work somewhat organised, you know, well organised, oh, I had so separated groups of yeah. one oh, chat. I see. Yes, yeah, I yeah, see. yeah. Ah. Um, if anybody's wondering how the hell, I mean, you wouldn't, but if you were wondering no, we don't care about what, you. how the hell um, I managed to Matt, put this together, um, Matt, it's 90%. Over there? Flory, what Shut are you up. doing? Sh- shush. I want to talk to Matt Griffin about his vaping habits. <laughs> you tell him, Flory. <laughs> you, you vaping. Who's vaping? He's, just, he's sucking on something under his... Um, wasn't that licorice. what you No. Just a little bit of licorice. No, it's a bit of licorice, yeah. The licorice. What? <laughs> Really? No, I see. It's totally. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> Are you always happy for a second? Sherbet fountain. That's all we that looks like. Yeah, I'm, I have a, a, a ridiculously heavy. So Matt said earlier. Oh, you. Matt said earlier. Oh, you keep getting worse. You really do. Now he's vaping on the couch by himself in, well, in, yeah, under the blank wall. Well, this Matt just start calling me. Yeah, that Griffin. Too many Matt's. Yeah. You see, I gave up smoking when my second daughter was born, uh, eight years ago. And since then, I've become even more of a nicotine addict since I gave up smoking because I've been like pounds. Something. Lift your shirt. You got like. So I have to have a bit. vice. <laughs> I'm wearing like I'm wearing sixteen patches and I'm vaping. You should try Transformers uh, because Transformers fill all manner of holes in life. They're just the best. Yeah. You heard it here <laughs> first from Matt I, Ferguson. I did, um, Transformers <laughs> fill holes. He's my current desk one. G one. Hey, I did backgrounds on a Transformers cartoon. You know. I know, so I'm, yeah, I'm very excited. Canon. Which one? Uh, Cyberverse, the best one. Oh, he's yeah. got it on right now. The, the little fella loves it. Yeah, he just, ra- he just than, ran um, in. War for Cybertron, that one was. Mm, so yeah, it is. He just ran in and he was like, Dad, Dad, Starscream, he touched the Matrix and then he got the bits from that toy where he turns into a digger and then just ran away. And I was like, cool, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, Gareth, you wanted to say something about like posters. Are we supposed to be talking about something? Is there a plan? Uh, there is a plan. There's a few people are going to show some art. So yes, there is a plan. Uh, oh. Ryan Shoemate, where are you? Is what I'd like to know also. Because uh, Ryan Shoemate's meant to join us, although that will knock things out of. Yeah, you're doing the counting of the rows. Um, no, I'm yeah. just trying to find him. I thought he might be there. Oh, the right, okay. Place, yeah. Andrew Rowland, I didn't get to say hello properly because Flory um, was rightfully pointing out that, uh, that that Matt Griffin's secretly vaping. Hello. You can take you're yourself on, off you're mute, on mute now. As well, man. You're on mute, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't see. No, you're on mute. No, no, no. No, you're on mute, Andrew. No, it's not anymore. It's good. Hello, Andrew. I'm a Philistine. Hi, guys. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. How you doing? Yeah, not bad. I was all set up in my um, studio, but the internet was crap, so now I'm in a very bleak corner. <laughs> Sounds like my life. Just like Matt. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad that there's someone else with a yeah, shit it's background. In a bleak corner. <laughs> <laughs> I look, honest to God, guys, I need to work on my backgrounds. I might actually do, I do one of those fake ones. And then you yeah, can just do, that, do a fake one. You could be yeah, in Tahiti right now. 
Oh, I don't know how to do that. How do you do that? There's a lot of different stuff background. going on in these backgrounds. There's like Sophie's all sophisticated down there with a little nice, uh, yeah. The what? We got, like some sort of maroon or dark red. Peter's in like a just a massive space there. That's huge. Yeah. Got enough shit back there as well. Like there's like there's like rows and racks and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of stuff. Garrett's obviously not put any of my posters behind him, so we won't talk about that. <laughs> Sam's underwater huh? currently. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's in. Ferg's, Ferg's is there. That's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? You aren't directed that poster, so. Yeah. Do I get that? Uh, what's my cut? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Sad face. What are we talking about? <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to uh, invite Ryan Shoemate in, and then we're going to show off some posters because we've got Andrew Rowland's. Uh, Nausicaa reveal uh, yes. which I think we'll use to kick off and then we've got uh, Mark's and I think Sophie's just sent something which we'll, we'll take a look at she said, said, said a second ago uh, oh, Ryan hello yeah dinosaurs Boba Fett Ninja uh, Turtles there's like a robot there that's some kind of cool looking robot hi <laughs> 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 uh, Ryan hi Ryan Hey, Hi everyone. Sorry, I'm hey, Ryan. Hey man, it's I, okay. I can't see Ryan. It's okay. You you haven't missed much. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do a print reveal because uh, we've got some it's... cool stuff to show. We're gonna show off uh, Andrew Rowland's Nausicaa, um, which Key's just gonna get out now in a sec. One thing how I haven't quite say? appreciated. Pardon? Yeah, how do we say? That's exactly what I was about to say. One thing I hadn't quite appreciated is if you do want to see it, you're going to have to get a YouTube tab open and, 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 and mute just the YouTube tab. I've got it on my TV. See? Hey. I've seen it. Some of you have already seen it because you look at each other's posters and stuff before. We do. We have, a secret, we have a secret club. Yeah. I, yeah. Not anyone. What, the illustrator club? <laughs> I don't care about anyone else's posters. Mine are the only ones. I, where's the poster? I've not seen the poster. Okay, it's going to come up now. Just are you ready? Are you ready, Andrew? I'm, I'm ready. He I'm is ready, ready, so we are going to show it. Uh, I think we're going to do That's someone not muting the YouTube video. And now it is visible. It is out in the open, Andrew. Your poster. Good stuff. It's uh, it's an incredible piece. <laughs> I don't know what. Flory, just seeing Flory take a photo there. Um, no, I'm just it is available to view back. You know these live streams. They do. You can, you know, watch them all. What's the delay on this bad boy, Gareth? Yeah, where is it? I've yeah, got I can't see it. There will be a slight delay, but you will see it. Everyone, just... sit in silence until you see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's it's I, you know. Well, technology had come. Talk about it, got people that know out. what it looks like. Talk about it. <laughs> so now, so Andrew, if you could talk oh, us through it. I mean, you know what it looks like, whether you can see it on the YouTube I video or not. Was... So, uh, oh, if you can oh. just have a, just tell oh. us a little bit about you know your process. Oh, yeah, on no, it I've and... seen this. It's good. There you go. Oh yeah, nice, yeah. nice. Yes, I can see it on my screen now as well. Yeah, um, yeah. I just wanted to focus more on. Uh, Nasca itself, because most of the posters I've seen tend to concentrate on like the environmental stuff and the owns and and she's she's the hero. So I thought, yeah, just make her the focus. And it came up. Key Amazing. Key is is uh, besotted with this piece. Uh, just so you know. Makes me cry that film, by the way. Mm -hmm. Every single time I cry, you know, when the music kicks in at the end and uh, the, the the weird tentacle things coming out. Yeah. The, well, that's your favorite. That's your favorite one, isn't it? Your favorite. Yeah, favorite I think it's the best. Yeah. I, I, I saw it after after most of the other ones. And, um, I always liked Princess Mononoke best, but mm -hmm. um, as soon as I saw Nausicaa, that's the best one for me. It's very really good. Fun post. There is, a, there is um, a couple of variants as well, but I have, I'll save them for the drop. We're going to show. We'll we'll put up a few. Uh, you, you might not get to see wait. these in time, but we're going to we're going to 
before, as we're talking, but we're going to put up some uh, some of the detail shots that you've sent us um, yeah. because your 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 work is so detailed. It, like and and the pencil work that you put up on on that we see you put up on in the in the Facebook groups is is really stunning. Uh, so you uh, put up a Lord of the Rings piece recently, um, yeah. and it's it's breathtaking uh, pencil work and 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 yeah. So uh, we can see the planes yeah, now. For, uh, hoping for a Lord of the Rings gig. Yeah, it's like a nudge, nudge, wink, wink. That's my. That's my he, he's he's proper good at like drawing stuff. He's not that's, just faking it like the rest of us. Do you hear that, yeah. Flory? You can put that on your website, Andrew. Well, Flory, Flory, he's proper good at drawing stuff. No, that's the, that's an. Put it on a t-shirt. Some great copy. Well, yeah, well hopefully, Lord of the Rings. That's a that's a money spare. Yeah. We we put out a tweet uh, about that Lord of the Rings piece because it is absolutely gorgeous, and actually, it's quite like Tolkien's uh, style. I thought, like, perfect for an edition of the book. And like, we just put out a tweet because I have a lot of publishers and stuff because of what I do in my day job. And you never know. I mean, probably nothing may come of it, but you never know who's looking. So, fingers crossed. Exactly right. Yep. Yeah, 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 it's the same thought, man. So basically, mm -hmm. all of you want Lord of the Rings po to do Lord of the Rings posters, and Ferg's going to make it happen. Is that the the general sort of? No books, the fuck the poster, I want to do book, yeah. and so does Andrew. <laughs> the books, that's where the money's at. <laughs> posters, like who cares about posters? Well, books well, books well, is well, not well, where the money is at, in my experience. No, no, it's really not. No, no the only money not. I've got, the only money I've made from books is being paid not to do one. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a tell all? Flory. Oh, it was a shocker. <laughs> yeah, that's that's as far as we've gone, haven't we? <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, so thank you for bringing that in, Andrew. And and the comment you are getting so much love in the comment section. I don't know if you you can uh, you, you you might want to scroll and have a look at, at people. Lots of thumbs up. Lots of very that's nice gorgeous. and brilliant that's work. Awesome. Kudos. Wow. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Someone put yeah. nice, very so cool. they liked it. Yeah, good nice. stuff. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's. An I'm, just, piece. Uh, I'm just saving Flory's quote. Yeah, yes, real please good do. At drawing stuff. He, but, like that, real he's good at drawing stuff. stuff. Yeah. Um, so when is this piece coming out, Andrew? Uh, I, I believe it's next Thursday. Next Thursday. That's the ninth, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. Six day. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. penciled in for them, but I mean things might change, but should be should be Thursday. Awesome. Cool. So uh, we've got some work from Mark Bell to show off. Um, yeah. So we're going to head to that. Mark, how are you doing? I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? I'm all right. We're over here. If you turn to your right. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, everybody missed that. <laughs> I don't think it's. <laughs> I didn't really. <laughs> Unfortunately, we weren't streaming the cameras at that point for people to actually see, but uh, it was it was beautiful. Um, we can we can reenact it if you want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's Hold on. We'll just bring the just bring the we'll bring the cameras up oh. again, and we're going to redo the whole thing. Okay. We'll do the bit. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to say. So we've got some stuff coming up from Mark Bell. He's sent some stuff in for us to show. Um, Mark, we're over here. Just to the left. There we go. There he is. Okay, so that's what that's what happened, and that's why everybody was laughing. My um, webcam's over here, but my screen is over here. So okay, well, um, you've got like a big microphone as well, just like I do. Yeah, up in there. I'm trying to be a bit more professional, you know. Like, it's like, it's like, like you're on the radio. He's, yeah. he's got a big microphone, which he's again not talking into. It's it's whichever way you look at it, he should be here. here. There we go. Whisper. Well, that's much better. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm bring it closer. There you go. Is it? Is that better? If I just yeah. talk like this. Okay. Cool. You sound like you're on the radio. You need a shock jock sort of voice or something. What are you showing of uh, Mark's? So we're going to show his series of Cornetto trilogy posters, which I believe are coming out via a company co-run by Mr. Matt Ferguson called. Oh, that's mine. My name. Yeah. That's your name, yeah. Your company called Vice Press, yeah. Yeah. That one. So we're going to show uh, these posters now. We're going to do them in order, which is Shaun of the Dead first key. Um, and uh, and it's, a, it's a great concept, uh, uh, Mark. I really like it. Um, Thanks, man. People are going to see it in like a few seconds. 
Can you make it pop so up we're faster this time? Yeah. Can we make while it pop up faster? Busy. I mean, it well, would be... People watching live won't be... AC. Yeah. Like, they'll just be watching They get an live. audio what delay as well. We're in we a video see. call that's... It's probably, it's probably already up. And we're, just we're in a video <laughs> call that's very <laughs> instantaneous. Everybody else that's watching is getting the audio and video at the same time Three. in a few yeah. seconds delayed. So uh, when we talk about the really posters... It's too confusing. I don't understand. I don't okay. understand. Sorry, I'm just gonna. We're all gonna sit here quiet again until just we magic, see. It. Guys, it's just magic, guys. It's just magic. Been on since before you oh, made the comment. It's been on for a while now. Um, <laughs> I've just loaded it up and I don't see a poster. <laughs> Can someone in the chat describe it, please? <laughs> <laughs> so it is Simon Pegg jumping over a fence, and the fence yeah. has collapsed, and he's about to fall on the floor. That's the the, the, the wow. through line on all. Uh, yeah, that's good. Guys, you guys time. might yeah, might, uh, might know in the films there's this kind of running gag all the way through it where they go go through the fences or fall or fall off the fences yeah. or fall off the top. So I've kind of uh, utilised that as a kind of a piece setting piece for all the all the uh, all the posters. That's fun. It makes me want to see like because I know obviously know the gags. It makes me want to see the, the next posters. <laughs> I think the hot fuzz one is the best. Yeah, like yeah, that <laughs> was the hot fuzz one is well. good. Yeah. No, is that just Nick Frost just diving through it? Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. yeah. got a little time. Oh, it's it's it just looks like this. <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. Um, and I was in, I was actually in Wales a few weeks ago, um, so I got to go around all the uh, the, the the sites of nice. of Hot First. It was nice. Yeah, that's cool. I do recommend it. Cool. Um, yeah, and now we're going to show the world's end piece as well. So have you now you seen the hot fuzz? Have you down. now seen the hot fuzz poster, everyone? No. No. Okay. Well, you will, and then you can. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead for the last half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got Nicholas Angel there jumping that over like three inches away. That's good. Uh, that's class. Are you releasing these, Matt? Grab. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, um, my, um, actually, actually, my so I do I do want to shout Matt out as well because he's helped me a bit with the separation and stuff like that. I'm still quite new to this whole separation. I and, didn't do uh, a screen do fuck all, mate. You did. did well, you know what I'm finding out that's exciting. <laughs> um, I've spoken to Mark, oh, well, a couple of times. We've been doing a few other things. I just found out he's an artist right now. So there you go. I didn't even know. <laughs> that shows how much it attention up, I pay. It didn't, yeah, it didn't come up. <laughs> What are you guys no, working on then? Do more <laughs> posters uh, and less of the other stuff. That's what I, I advise. Because that's secret business. Yeah, secret business. <laughs> that secret WhatsApp chat that we're all in that you're not included in, Matt. Sorry. <laughs> everyone else, these? everyone else here is except for Griffin. <laughs> There's about fifty of those. Like every every single group of people I know say they have a separate group without me in it. Gotta tell you something, Matt. Yeah, the, the world's end is cast. They're so, what by, size are these pieces? So, twelve by twenty-four, which is a nice, yeah, uh, wall-worthy size, uh, and they're nice, nicely printed in England by a British screen printer, which is good. Mm, That's the end of the story. Uh, they're going to be coming out towards the end of the month. Um, yeah. So yeah, are you happy with them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good, because really if you weren't, they're, it's too late. <laughs> no, um, well, we know what would have happened if I wasn't happy with them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Keep going no. forever. No, no, uh, no, 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 I really like I really, say I really, no very much. As soon as I kind of um, sketched out the rough concept, I was really happy with the idea of it. And yeah. then it was just a case of making sure they all kind of lined up and kind of looked all good together, the colour schemes work across, and then um, I spent ages drawing clouds. That's what I usually do. <laughs> I used to do that. Now I don't. I just scribble them in. They look better. He used to do the, the gouache no, brush on Photoshop. It's the best yeah, brush scribble, of all scribbly, time. Scribbly wibbly. Gouache a go go. Gouache a go go brush. On the, Kyle, on the Kyle brush is the greatest Photoshop brush ever. If we just go around and set for a second, if everybody can talk about their favourite. Uh, uh, Photoshop tools. Let's just let's just do that for a minute, shall we? Well, this is like I'm damn late night, isn't it? So command <laughs> command art is my favourite one. So just press those two buttons, and he, he, just, he just presses the button, and the poster comes out. Yeah, it's amazing. 
I, I'm my favorite Photoshop tool. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot better when I told you to start using that brush, though. Oh, 100%. That's what I was just like mumbling over the back of everyone else then is that it's just like a magic brush. It's like, oh, I it's can't amazing. draw shit and then you draw it's like, it. It's like it, just... it feels like you're painting the way it... I think the problem, the problem yeah. I've always had with Photoshop brushes is that they don't feel right. You're just like, oh, how is it sort of, it's not doing what I just think it should do on a, when you're just using a pencil on a Cintiq. It just, but that one just feels normal so I can just scribble away with it mm. and it does what you want it to do. It's good. What's it called? Yeah. Gouache. 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 A go go. It's on the cow brush. You so like you know you can download all the cow brushes now just through yeah. Photoshop. You just go more brushes and then you can download all of them. Thousands. There's like thousands. But in the in the mega pack or whatever, there's the paint box and uh, it's in there. And it's really really good. My favorite cool. is the instant it? talent tool. Um, instant talent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I use. Um, Ferg made me use it on the 2001 poster, and that's probably what got it over the line, was gouache no. go-go. <laughs> <laughs> makes you use the brush. Um, Sophie, we're going to show your uh, howling poster, because you because it's a piece that recently came out, and I think it's absolutely sick. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I saw that on Twitter. Mm. I, I've yeah. seen that. I said wow. it was really good. It's really good. Oh, thank you. Yes. It and is it proper was sick. It through Sugar Canal, so we... It was on the like the DVD and the Blu-ray. And, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It, it it needs a print. Well, in the collector's edition, there'll be a poster print for it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but no print. Yeah. Well, Vice Press has a, a relationship with Studio Canal, so we could always facilitate screen prints of a larger, flatter thing because it's not nice when they're um, folded up. It isn't. It isn't nice, and I'm sure you know Massimo. He's um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've worked with Massimo for years and years. Oh yeah, that's good. A very lovely person. The folded, the folded poster. It's it's one of the good guys, Massimo. Yeah. He is. Yeah. This has just become Matt Ferguson does deals live. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, oh, it, you know. I want more money. <laughs> you know, it's clearly also a networking event. So, mm, it's yeah. it, but in public. Um, We're just on LinkedIn, aren't we? Isn't this some? Yeah. <laughs> I think other people are watching. <laughs> I did I just put a tweet out saying I want more artists. So you did. I did. There you go. Ta -da. All of you. That, behind. that poster is amazing. That howling poster. Yeah, I really. Like it, it is so super sick, and it seems like really it's, really good. it seems like it would lend itself to a screen print mm. quite time. nicely. It does easy. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. Um, I also really like your sucker punch poster, but uh, I think we'll, we'll maybe show that because you're joining us for the Big Amp Jam panel, right? Yes, yeah, very exciting. Look, looking forward to it? Yeah, definitely. Famous last words. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, it'll be good. It'll be, uh, it'll be a good session. It'll be a lot more organised, hopefully, than this, uh, <laughs> providing that I've written down uh, topics of conversation. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, so, uh, Ryan Shoemate's in the house. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't said anything this whole time, so I'm like, I hope I... <laughs> when you... <laughs> I, hope, I hope I'm not muted or... When you joined the call, Ryan, everybody was... An, well, you, you were analysing everything that they had, he had in the background, right? Mm. Yes, and oh, what did I'm we find? analysing, yeah. Oh, for sure. That's what I've been doing Pencils, all time. My ADHD has I definitely want... been. Um, Is that a vulture? Looking... In my background? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, boss, what's the ball? I'm not going to lie. That's the one Instagram advertisement that got me. Um, <laughs> it was like, I don't know, like the corner lamp, whatever they call them. Um, it's just like a beam. Looks like a lightsaber, but it's switched. like I have a fancy remote for it, actually. And then no, I no, we're do... talking about the. There's a robot on top of your books. Oh, I thought you were talking about my cool light in the corner, and I'm like showing it. Mate, off. we've all we got like cool robots. lights. That's not Damn impressive. It. Damn it. I don't have any cool lights. <laughs> That's my uh, light. <laughs> He's just in like a weird little gray box. In your gray void. With his vaping. <laughs> like, That's a terrible oh, thing to say about our. <laughs> It's a truth. <laughs> oh, you just made you just made wine come out my nose. 
man. It's not that hard. <laughs> Uh, it is a great voyage here in Ireland, by the way. But go on, continue. The light is awesome. It is. Thanks, Brent. I appreciate that, Matt. Um, no, that's 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 the OG uh, Power Rangers um, Megazord. Uh, so Ryan yeah, was part was in some ways part of Ant Jam Twenty Twenty because his candy floss dinosaurs, which are so awesome, if you haven't seen them. Yeah, those are great. They are so sick. Uh, Thank you. They uh, were put I'm gonna, out I'm gonna, with. I'm going to Google this right now. Candy floss it was, dinosaurs. It was, it was a year ago, so I don't expect anybody to like have it fresh in their memory. But um, yeah, that was fun release. Uh, big fan of dinosaurs, obviously. Uh, well, <coughs> unless unless you really know me, but Gareth and I share a, a and and Mark share a, a fond love for Jurassic Park, and uh, dinosaurs have just always been a favorite of mine. And one time, just. In the fall last year, I decided just to kind of throw some color together with some random dinosaurs, and then James reached out, that little sweetheart man at uh, more art gallery, and um, brought him on board, and it's been great. Kind of my introduction to the whole, I mean, I've been following most of you and kind of been drawing for a few years, but that was definitely like one of my more uh, major introductions. Mark Bell's got a red Rex there, just realized. Sorry. Nice work. He does. You should always have a red Rex to hand, I think. We're just going to show a piece of dress. I don't think I've seen this before. A G1 swoop. Nice. You can't see this. I don't know if people saw that one. You might have to redo that again. No, no, no. So. Anyway, We're currently showing Ryan's Jurassic Park piece, but both Flory and Matt Flory. Ferguson were uh, flying their dinosaur transformers around in the air. Hang on a second. We're getting toys out. We're getting toys out. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh, get it, get it out of the rig, yeah? Get um, out of the bank rig, Matt. That's, so that's fucking clean. We've got that's the... Uh, toys, we've got... Huh? We've got... <laughs> <laughs> they're missing all of this <laughs> is that like a Tonka truck <laughs> oh it's daddy pig oh my god no one can see it Matt, it's just a Matt, is that a collector's like, edition truck uh, yeah that's, that's, a, that's actually one of one limited edition uh, I got the same one at home man you're lying I got the same one yeah, but uh, your one doesn't have, isn't the, um, oh, fuck, yeah. I don't know. you got the same one, right? It's not covered in jam. I think I found that in the bin or something. <laughs> good I've Lord. seen those dinosaurs, by the way. I just looked up on, on the old oh, Google. They're good. I've, see, I've, I've seen them before. They're awesome. The colourful dinosaurs, yeah. Yeah. They're right. dinosaurs are good. Class. Yeah. So they came. Keep... The colour there. Where's this Jurassic Park? Is it on the YouTube? We're going to put it up. Well, what happened there, Matt, if you want to really know, is that we put it up, but then you did something on camera that was really amusing, and we wanted to show Nobody you up flying your dinosaurs you. around. Sorry. Okay? Is it just online? Yeah, probably. Hey, um, so there's... <laughs> right, so we, we brought up his... We brought up Ryan Shoemate's I'm Jurassic Park. Back. Guys... Just let it, just let it roll. Just let it roll. <laughs> um, we don't have to talk yeah, about nice. this. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Jurassic Park for? Uh, who's it? Who's it for? Uh, so Jurassic Park. That was two years ago. That was for Designer Con. Um, that was for the twenty, right? Two years ago. God, what is time? Twenty uh, fifth. I think it might have been twenty eighteen. Uh, for the 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary was 2018. Yeah, so three years ago. Wow. Yeah. Um, they had a just a, a 25th anniversary celebration in, um, gallery down in Southern California at DesignerCon. And um, that is actually not the one that I did for DesignerCon, now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't, it's I, the I, other I one. It's the other one with the, with, well, we could, if you Google it, you I, might find it. I yeah. forgot what, uh, what piece of oh, before, apparently. I have not this one I did for fun. Together. I've never seen that for, that piece before. Um, the one I did for the time was Nedry and uh, his, it, the whole Dilophosaurus turning scene. Actually, well, no, I can grab it. Uh, I'm, seen, it. I'm not going to. Um, We're going to grab it digitally and put it on the. Uh... 
I remember oh, seeing that because I just released my oh, yeah. Madrid piece as well at the same time, and I thought, oh, he beat me to it by about two weeks. Like, yeah, <laughs> Mark and I have done similar pieces. That's right. He he did the Jeep uh, up on the rocks, and then I did the tree. I thought the tree was such an iconic, you know, when he's looking one way and the Dilophosaurus is looking another. Like that stood out to me a lot. So yeah, I, I wanted to capture that definitely. <laughs> No, but uh, this one, I, I, the the raptor coming out of the Barbasol can, I kind of just had this concept of you know the egg and the the, oh, D, the DNA being in the can, and I, I kind of wish I would, well the, the the ferns and stuff were supposed to be the island. Uh, it's not like a clear yeah, example, right. but yeah, it's supposed that. to be. Yep. Just pretend, just pretend. Oh, so, um, but yeah, I like dinosaurs. I like Jurassic Park a lot. So, yeah. So uh, just to, just to say, I don't I don't read and I don't listen and I don't really look. But uh, my business partner James sent me your fly, Little Mermaid, Wonder Woman, and Batman Beyond pictures the other day, yesterday, even, and said, "Should we work with him?" And I said, sure. I said, no. <laughs> no, no I, I said, sure. No. <laughs> so that's really weird. I didn't, I didn't put two and two together. See, the there. thing yeah. is, Matt, when you say this in public, you're then... I mean, I don't know if you realise you're now beholden to, to do that. Another deal made. Yeah, but I've already, I've already fucking James. said yes to Good. James. Good. So, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, um, Matt Kroger, if anybody I want to go, if he does a poster and it doesn't sell, then he can be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided I want to up my fees. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're talking business. You get paid what you get paid. You need life. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm I'm like, like, actually, do this for free. That, that's yeah, not watch binding. It, watch it, watch it, watch it's it. not a verbal contact. <laughs> Stop so drinking that. Stop drinking that. Drink Go, <laughs> Go on to your tunnel. Go on to your tunnel. Nobody discuss fees <laughs> in a public forum. Just don't do it. See, this was due to... It's meant to be yeah, a mystery you... so that nobody knows. Well, I mean, the 50 quid a print is the going rate, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's like when you... No, what you see, no, maybe, maybe, I think Matt Griffin's being quite clever. It's like when, you know, you see in, in, uh, in TV series and film where a breakup is taking place and it's in a restaurant and it's like, oh, you took me here so that I wouldn't make a scene. This is what's going on here. <laughs> I was kidding. Like, I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was joking. It was a bad joke. Move on. It's a gorgeous Jurassic Park poster. I loved it. <laughs> Genuinely, genuinely. It's funny because Griffin Square on mine, because you're looking at your TV, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because it, it looks like you're very, pe- like you just sort of go, mm. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of like thinking about it. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just looking at my daddy. Hey, uh, I, I collaborated with uh, Sam not so long ago. We had a, a joint product release, True Romance. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did, didn't we? Oh, yeah, Blu-ray. the Blu-ray one. Oh, yeah, that was the Blu-ray. Yeah, the... You did the amazing cover, and I did a folded-up yeah. poster. Yeah, a great one. With your, with your, your which had your brother's name on the credits. Is that right? I, I did, yeah, because it's his favorite film, one. and we we quote that line to each other all the time. Coming on with a body bag, it's great both the movie, and uh, so I push. I, and he's an actor, so it made, just made perfect yeah. sense. So he's he's on the building block. I asked them first if I could do it. I was going to say, did you ask them? Because that's like, ooh. I probably, like, you know, it's one of those ask for forgiveness rather than permission things. But in this case, I did ask. And Arrow very kindly said, go for it. So he, he's he got a he's got one framed up in his office and he loves it. It's kind of a cool thing to have, like, his favorite movie, the kind of meta inside gag of his favorite film with his name on it. Yes. Yeah, so he owes he owes me yeah. he owes me big. <laughs> um, no, no, sorry, uh, great project. That's all right. It's okay. But from with Aaron, Is there any questions that you wanted to ask, Garrett? Uh, no, it was meant to be a social thing, and and whilst yeah, also was, helping was, to to show yeah, some yeah, prints yeah. off and stuff was the idea. We did. We did. Did, it, that, right? did I? Did, was it mission accomplished? Did we do it all right? <laughs> Let us know in the comments if I fucked it up. Is it over? Uh, is there uh, anything else that people like to hide in their posters, i.e. names, 
dates. Strong Even question, Amazon. Matt. Strong question. Mm, and nature. also very relevant for yourself because you put the unicorn everywhere. But okay, go on. That one. Yeah. No. I used, to, I used to hide my signature in it. I kind of forgot a few times. They just stopped. <laughs> There's someone, there's someone still looking for it now. Okay. Yeah, there, yeah, it's definitely in every single thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, I like to, yeah. I like to try and hide how bad the artwork is. I like to try and hide. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I put the unicorn in everything, but I, 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 I did a Back to the Future trilogy, and I didn't put the unicorn in Back to the Future One. I just did it in wow. two and three. <laughs> just, I just. And oh. people like, and that's the best one because people unicorn? know it's unicorn? supposed to be there. Where's the unicorn? And then they go yeah, looking I, for it. It's so hard to you know, find. It's not where you tell people it's there and then watch them yeah. suffer for their entire yeah. lives trying to find it. Yeah. Or few, 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 I know Matt, it's there. Matt is on a mission trying to get it to appear in that post. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna sell a stamp with a unicorn that's like that big, so that you can add your own. Yeah. That's a good idea. Um. I don't hide anything, but if there's a hand in anything I draw, it's it's always going to have the little finger knuckle uh, about two inches in the wrong place because <laughs> my hand is the reference. <laughs> and I have what is called a box to the fracture where the uh, little uh, finger knuckle is in the wrong place. So every yeah, time I have, there's a I hand, have that as well. Yeah, there you go. Every time there's a I hand, punched, in punched my, a wall. there you go. <laughs> Just the deep fist fights. Oh, That's how it is. Angry boys. Wow. Ah, no, I, like, I punched that seven uh, giant kickboxing wrestlers. They were uh, trying to uh, attack a dolphin, and uh, I saved the dolphin. But uh, I mean, he had a bunch of walls. Oh, dog. dog alert. <laughs> yes. Um, See, that's what this whole thing needs more of. Everybody bringing their pets onto it, definitely. Oh, yeah, I've got, got pets here. Yes, yes, yes. Here's Marty. Oh, look at that. Aww. Say hi, Marty. Here we go. See, next time we do this at mine, you'll be the, the uh, This is the good content there. <laughs> Screw the views, it just got to go through the roof. Any form of. Oh my god, she's. Or is it a she? She's gorgeous. Yeah, um, she's got yeah. thinner. She's got. Look at those eyes. Wire. Yeah, she's precious. She's got the eyes. <laughs> They're amazing eyes. I did ask if the dog could take, to, could take part. Uh, and here we go. Uh, Will we have will will we have her join us for the uh, for the Amp Jam panel tomorrow? Yeah, she's yeah she'll be there. Nice. Wait. Oh, oh no! That's the most gorgeous dog ever. I was, was, dog ever. I was <laughs> hoping Andrew was going to go get a fish or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is Enzo. Oh, uh, 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 hey Enzo. Really pissed off oh, now. He was asleep. Marley, I can do, go, get, do I can go get my four-year-old son if you want. Like he's, he's basically the our pet. <laughs> that is his trick, isn't it? Do the fucking trick, Marley. <laughs> <laughs> no dogs were harmed in the filming of the scene. Is it? Is it finished? No, I was gonna. <laughs> Uh, I was going to invite no. I was going to invite questions from the audience and see you know see what comes in and then we'll and we'll do and we'll do a few minutes of uh, and we'll, and you know just in case anybody wanted to ask anything and then given that we're back on in at twelve o'clock tomorrow, uh, we should probably yeah or midday call it a day. midday. Uh, There's heaps of time, mate. It's all like we've got to pack down all of this and then set it all back up. In my flat. Oh, yeah, because you don't have internet. Or now I do. The, the internet came oh, back so one back minute to going live. Four, uh, 4.59. We've installed your internet. Yeah, thanks, BT. Oh, dear. We'll have to, you'll have to run home and do a test run just in case, and then... Oh, my God, dude. That's exactly <laughs> what I said, that we would have to do that. We'd take the laptop and not, ever, not everything else and, and just see... Because I've had something. internet hooked up as well, and you, you get in and up. So... I'll enjoy seeing you in the office tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it may well happen. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, we've. Uh, it's been real. It's been a thing. Are you we still alive? We are. <laughs> yeah, just, oh, yeah, no, this is this nobody's is watching actually. anymore. I thought this. Film That's was not like true. Actually, we've we've got got seventy people. Seventy people are watching this. Seventy people. Yeah, oh, say anything I'm you so want. Sorry. 
I'm so sorry. Gareth. <laughs> that doesn't apply to Matt Griffin. <laughs> yeah, no, I am. He's whatever. He's really done himself. Just a oh, disservice. Stop. This whole stop. Stop. No, because I really will. I'll cringe my ass off about this now for the, the rest of the night and tomorrow. Just you've added, uh, you know you've added dog beating to your reputation now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that really... was a dark moment. I wasn't sure <laughs> if we were going to make it back from that. Swear and drink a bunch had. of puppies. <laughs> no, we're good. We're, ba- we're back in prime, Look, she's prime fine. content now. <laughs> she's fine. Marley, show them you're fine. <laughs> hey, hey, she's okay. Eileen Steinbach uh, asks, "Who would you guys want to collaborate with from within this panel?" I mean, Matt said he wants to he wants to work with everyone, but who wants to collaborate? Who would want to? you mean like work together and make it? I'm just the messenger. Yeah, like like a merge like poster. Draw, draw they need, show up. Can, but, I, can I pick? Can I pick the dog? Yes, <laughs> which, it's probably which the dog? best call. <laughs> I'm working with Gareth. I think I want to see what you can do, buddy. Uh, nothing. I can <laughs> write stuff. That's about it. Get the pins out. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. He had a he had a good idea about something uh, that he said to me a couple yeah. of days ago, but it, it, in practice, it wasn't a good idea. So there you go. I can't remember what that was, but please let me know. And and let me know. Um, Chris Gibson asks, "Is anybody joining the quiz tomorrow?" Asking for a friend. Uh, I don't know if anybody witnessed any of the quiz last year. No. Um, I heard it was very funny. Yeah, that's Matt's kind of thing. It is. It? it is funny. That is true. Lots Why? What do you mean? Lots of drinking. Kind of lots of lots of drinking. There's some Irish dogs there. Yeah. You can push around. And sorry, what are you getting at with the drinking? <laughs> Irish, Nothing. Irish, you know. You're All right, Irish. so we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna start, we're gonna, we're gonna go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> been there, we've been there this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am such a stereotype. Paul Tate says, "Can we see the Griff 2001?" Uh, no, it's all it's about tomorrow. the drip. It's all about the drip feed, Paul. Um, you come back for more. That's the whole point. We've got to come back for more. You know, it's and... got foil. It's got. Uh, spot varnish. It's Ooh. very nice. It is very nice, and I can say I can say this: the preview that we've shown is probably what five percent, if if not less, of the poster itself. Yeah. So it's it's uh, it's a thing. That five percent looks good. really sexy. Oh, thank you. That's yeah, right. Just print that, I reckon. Just just probably crop out the rest and go with that. I think that's my new Twitter bio. Just five percent. <laughs> right. The rest, the rest of it. <laughs> uh, thanks, Tom. I'm, I'm very excited for people to see it, and uh, it's my favorite movie. So uh, I was always afraid to do a poster for it because I love the film so much. It and Blade Runner, the two posters I said I'll never even attempt. And then, um, with the help of uh, Matt Ferg. Um, we made, a, uh, I think, a good poster. So, I it's, it's an interesting it. point that that fear of doing, you know, films yeah. that you hold in high regard. Because I don't know. I think it actually. I have that as well, obviously. But I think in the end, it kind of it's been working out lately. Because I've been doing some ones that are my, you know, top to in my top ten, top five. And they come out okay. I think it just it can freak you out at the start, but sort of if once that I, you know the film so well that those ideas kind of you can dig deeper and find more interesting things. I think. Mm, yeah, I'll just that base level, like break in the show. Back, I don't know. And then once you've broken it, it's like a really good feeling because you know, uh, okay, mm. this is good. Yeah, I, I think early on, well, you can you can feel like um, because they're so important to you, you want you want to do a great job. And early on, you feel like I'm not ready yet. I'll be ready soon. Like I just do this one and this one. But then at a certain point, you just go, "Oh, let's just do it." Like you know, you've got as much experience as you're going to need. Just go for it. And as long as you can like please yourself, I hope the other people will like it. But you know, you just got to do it. If they don't, then fuck them. Exactly. And then oh, if it goes wrong, you can just another do it thing again down, the, down the line. Like, I did a yeah. Blade Runner poster. I don't really like it very much. But, oh, yeah, 
and it's been forgotten about probably. So I'll just do another one that's better mm. in the future. Oh, yeah. you mean the one with the car? Yeah, I don't think it's very now I like the idea, it. but it's not, it's not really. Uh, John R. Price asks, for the panel, what's the weirdest art tool you use that you think nobody else uses? Uh, Kleenex. A what? Kleenex tissue. Kleenex tissue. <laughs> Does anybody else like uh, draw their own, like um, take photos of their own hands? Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. 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 How do you do I also, I don't think many people did it, but... I used baby I've got videos of stuff. me jumping around, doing like... <laughs> 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 underpants. You know that old Man thing of... Uh, photos. Well, I was going to say about underpants. You know that old thing about wearing clean underpants in case you get hit by a bus? You know, so you're not wearing... Is that is that just me? This is the thing about that. Anyway, <laughs> I do know that phrase. Yeah. 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 Anyway, okay, I, I, I'm veering off that. But if I, if I, I die and someone picks up my phone and looks at the pictures, like 95% <laughs> of the pictures are me going... Yep. <laughs> it was for reference material. Yeah, sure it was. Sure it was. Yeah. When, you, when your wife comes in and you're just in that bit where you, you you know, the reference photos online of anatomy and it's just like naked dudes fighting naked <laughs> chicks or whatever and the people in their underpants and she just comes in and gives you the old... Yeah. <laughs> this is, so this is work, right? Like, yeah, yeah. This is what you do for a job. Yeah. Uh, Chris Woods yeah. thinks that your uh, Matt uh, Griffin knew uh, the the preview that we've shown of your 2001 print will make a great light switch cover, which is a strong. <laughs> it's fair. Think about it. Think about oh, it. New, yeah. new, new product <clears throat> Yeah, I I like that idea, and I'm not adverse to it. Um, Matt, let's just make it happen. To, just need the ten percent uh, <laughs> at least. And it's all good. Yeah, no, I like the idea. Let's of, make it 50%, uh, actually. 50%. Okay. Done. Right. So you're going <laughs> to, like, with, yeah, like, Wix? Work with Wix on it, or B&Q? It's, this is great. This is great. This is this is great. Nothing to do with me. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> get... Advice <laughs> business. <laughs> Ryan, uh, on, that's where it's at. Ryan Gunning asks, uh, Matt, how many APs are going to come out tomorrow? Uh, and then there was something about Zavi, but we won't go into it. So, uh, yeah, so how many APs tomorrow? Well, who, what, me? Yes. The two. There's Transformers, regular Transformers foil. I think they were referring to how many copies? Oh, uh, 25. Not many. Cool. Uh, Paul Tate asks Ferg, why? Ask other people questions. Um, Ferg, are there any new licenses you are looking at or considering for the future with Vice Press? Loads. Loads. There you go. There yeah, you go, Paul. That's the answer. Um, let, I think we should uh, wrap it up there. We'll do it. Well, I think what we could do is just ask one of those sort of very uh, obvious interview questions, which is uh, the you're, you're like your. The, the piece you'd most likely to most like to do so that in terms of like films so if we go for that's not already that's not already on the you know the bat burner you know because that's just sort of giving it away isn't it uh so matt griffin what is the poster you'd most what film would you most like to do a poster for um well the other one that i fear doing the most uh after 2001 is blade runner so probably that, but then I also really want to do some fantasy stuff because I don't just want to be sci-fi, uh, you know, so I'd like to do, I don't know, something like Conan or Legend or something like that. And I'm doing something sort of fantasy, uh, I think, with Vice. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, oh, I yeah. the old the vaping. Uh, so you were vaping? Just say Blade Runner. Let's say go on, move on. Blade okay, Runner. Blade Runner. Yeah, Peter just... Diamond. Sorry. Uh, I I would like to do Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, I also think it'd be fun to do Indiana oh, the uh, Indiana Jones trilogy at some point. So the, those are kind of the two that I. Mm -hmm. Nice, Flory. The Transformers. The movie from okay. 1986. Okay. Sam Gilby? <laughs> uh, for me, Superman the movie. Superman like, the movie. I would love to do that with, I mean, obviously, 
to do it, but like I don't, I don't think it's possible to do it, like to get to people like this and stuff. Right, ten know. close, uh, ten close ones actually on Christopher Reeve's license. Uh, I want to get his likeness, yeah. Um, it, but it, yeah, the estate and everything was tricky. Yeah. But that, that would just be a dream one to do. Fergs, I know, is legally blonde. So, uh, so <laughs> no. Ferg, any any uh, uh, films that are still on Star the sort of bucket list? Star Trek: The Motion Picture, the director's mm. cut for the new Blu-ray release that they're doing, and uh, they're not interested. So it's not happening. Fuck you, Paramount. Sophie, Fury Road. I'd love to do. Ooh. Oh, nice. <laughs> I can be your Aussie Sorry. consultant on that, if you like. Please, please do. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Does he out the window? George! He's yeah. just driving past in a monster truck. <laughs> With guitar, right? Yeah. 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 Um, Mark? Um, I've had, uh, well, you know what? I've got two, that, but uh, one of them is um, actually turning into a commission now, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, Forrest Gump, and the other, the other one is Who Framed Roger Rabbit? That's kind of a oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice. nice, 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 nice. Mm. Andrew? Uh, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. No contest. No contest. Re- yeah, I mean, it, the art that you've been putting out, I don't know if people have already seen it, but go if you haven't seen it, head to uh, Andrew Rowland's uh, tags. I've forgotten. What, what are your Instagram and Twitter tags? I don't put them up by heart. Uh, neither do I. Fantastic. Well, uh, Ryan, no, go on, no, go on, Andrew. What's your name, maybe? Andrew, Google Roland Art or something. Yeah, Andrew Roland Art, I think it is on Twitter anyway. Yeah, yeah. and they are amazing. Go so and see them. They, they are, they are something to behold. Um, yeah, stay away from the portraiture. It's just uh, pure landscape. Yeah, they're amazing. Really Tolkien-esque, actually. They're perfect. <laughs> and lastly, Ryan. Apart from um, Jurassic Park, or maybe Jurassic Park again. Honestly, that that, that would be a choice. Uh, Tron Legacy or Tron? It yeah, definitely both. has been. It's Good. been on the top of my list for a few years now. That's that's the one that I'm afraid to to touch. But yeah, that one. We've got your light back there now, so you're all set for Tron. <laughs> Hold on, it's turning blue. <laughs> There we go. Right, have you got some sort of like weird, weird statue hat stand or something? What's what what like Yoda hat stand? Yeah, this is my wife's side of it. So we live in like a kind of cottage esque house where we have very limited storage and closet space. So part of our basement is converted to our closet. So that's her stuff. She's actually got Tracy Ching's uh, BTS poster right here from Sideshow, just released. She's a fan. So that's. That's her side. It's my side. Her side looks bigger. <laughs> it's way bigger. <laughs> and she's happier for it. We've got a uh, we have got a question from uh, Sean as- uh, asking Mark about his Forrest Gump poster and whether we can see a tease of it. <laughs> I've um, seen it. It's really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, no, I, you know what? It, be unfair. I think. Um, I think uh, the commissioner hasn't kind of opened it all up yet, so it'd be pretty pretty bad of me just to kind of share it around before he's had first dibs and all that. So, but um, it's I can say it's kind of getting there. Um, I'm in the kind of final men stage of it and stuff, and then I've just got to colour separate it all. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's probably the most um, yeah, it's probably kind of one of the most intense bits I've done. It's got like all the characters in, which is quite rare for me because I I don't really draw portraits very much um but yeah it's got everybody in it so it's quite big nice nice um i have actually seen it and it is sick yeah (laughs) um okay well with that we will uh we i think we will close because we've got a lot to do before we go home and sleep and then do more tomorrow so. I ain't got nothing to do. I'm here all day, man. Do you want to just leave it live and I'll just sort of like, I'll take yes. my shift by myself, just talk to myself? I yeah, we can that. We can totally do that. Oh, Griffin will stay with me. He'll vape along for the rest of the night. Oh, yeah, I'm there. Oh, you yeah. had uh, me. Yeah. I... Okay, well, we're going to leave running. Because just... <laughs> <laughs> once I leave here, I've got to go do like dad stuff. 
I don't want to do that. Oh, it's like a whole day of like, uh, play with me. Uh, he's he's uh, gone. Be my to parent me, parent me. Yeah, Please. I know, like make food and stuff. Oh, oh, so demanding. Oh, they always want to like, be kept alive and like, oh, yeah. yes. Be loved. <laughs> I want to be loved. I think I was loved. Yeah, no. exactly. I didn't. See, I feel like I was born and didn't see my parents until I was twelve, when I did something <laughs> wrong. You know. Get oh, out there. Man. I've got a creek yeah. or something. I've got just before we've got one question for Peter Diamond, and someone is, is begging me not to let it to let it pass. So here's the question for Peter Diamond just before we go, and that question is. Be. I love seeing your process and pics and videos of your art Do uh, that you do by hand. What's your favourite part of your art process? He has got a session on his own uh, on Sunday, by the way, everyone. Um, please do catch it. But, uh, yeah, what's your favourite part of your art process? Uh, Welcome to me on DM. Probably the inking, I would say. <laughs> it's, uh, that's like a reward. The inking is like a reward for all the other stuff that's a lot more difficult to do. Just laying down the black and making everything nice and tight is my favorite part. I think last time, we, if you haven't, the, he did an ama- Peter did an amazing ses- session with us last year where he gave us a tour of his studio and and went through some of his his process work and we saw sort of the thumbnails up to the finished article. And you were talking before about how the uh, like the end piece because you actually paint the final piece and it's like that's the cathartic moment that it's like. Like getting the piece to its sort of end state. It's amazing. Sort of, yeah. It's uh, maybe I might paraphrase. I might be paraphrasing. Well, no, it's just that the, the the end stage is digital because I do the the painting is a is in sepia tone, so it's like an under under painting in a way, and then all the color stuff happens on the top. Uh, so that's kind of where the end point is. But the part that's the most fun and it's the least painful and most rewarding is just doing the black inks because the pencil work is so like anal retentive and perfectionist that I've already sorted out all the problems. And then the inking is just, is just fun. You know, there's not really any problem solving to do at that point. Um, I think of all the, of all the, um, you know, that question about what would you most like to do? I, I think a Peter Diamond Pan's Labyrinth would be something to behold, like a, a must own. Yeah. I think we have to see that. Whoever it's also has, in my top three I'm, films. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> working on literally it. working on it, or no, 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 no. I'm not right. working on the image. I'm working on getting it arranged to be allowed to do it. <laughs> Basically, I'm sure it'll happen at some point. We, we, I think people don't want us to go to sleep because we're getting more questions. Ryan Shoemate, what's your favourite do- dinosaur in Jurassic Park? Why don't you go to fucking sleep and we'll stay here and <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What's the time now? I'm here all night. I'm probably... Uh, half past 11. 11.30. Past I mean, we can... I mean... No, fine. We'll keep going. People can ask. Well, we'll ask everyone. So, Ryan Shoemate, what's your favourite dinosaur in Jurassic Park? It's the Dilophosaurus, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, hands down. The Dilophosaurus. Also, also... Uh, Ryan, official tour guide. Yeah, it's a 1993 piece. Yeah. You're asking us all what our favourite dinosaur yes, is. Yes, yes. The favourite yeah. dinosaur in Jurassic Park. Come That's on, a great question for everyone. Oh, does it have to be in Jurassic Park? Apparently, I've asked the question incorrectly. Hold on a second. Hold on, Chris. Part one. What is the best dino movie? There's only one what? Jurassic Park. Can you read it out? Uh, Can you please ask question. Ryan what There's the no best dino altogether. movie is? Prehysteria, The Good Dinosaur, or Tammy and the T Rex? It's the uh, land before time. Um, yeah. Oh, out of those yeah. films? What's, What's the best the dinosaur, dinosaur movie? Prehistoric. Park, yeah, yeah, exactly, it's, yeah. It's got to be Jurassic Park, right? I don't know if she was... Well, I don't know if it was being I mean, facetious. Um, we had I a the Harry the Hazen. Dinosaur was the Harry Hazen. I hate the good time dinosaur. Are... I hated it so much. The good dinosaur, man, that movie made me want to throw up. I can't remember. Well, again, I could you're not wrong, stand so it was good. <laughs> Stand up. Oh, people keep on coming up with these stupid opinions about Marvel films and Pixar <laughs> films. They're all fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to come in. This is getting uh, too much now. What is happening? I was, just, I was just talking to my wife about this yesterday. That's a, that's a weird and great question because I was like, do you remember that, that, that movie with the kid and the cooler and the eggs? And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
but yeah, this kid finds like these eggs and they hatch and it's like many, they look like Jurassic Park Kenner toys, but they're miniature. They don't grow. And it's like this boy, this, this kid just has like these dinosaurs and, uh, this other guy, he's trying to get his eggs back. And it's, it's a classic early nineties film, not nearly as good as Jurassic Park, but, um, that one definitely stood out as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. So prehistory is pretty good. Sammy the T-Rex with Whoopi Goldberg. Whew. Top five for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Top five. Do what about the no, 80s Goldberg. movie Baby? Do you remember that that movie? Was it called it was Baby the little back in the 80s? Oh, yeah. That was a series, wasn't it? Or was it a movie? Was it, I think it was a film. I don't there remember. There was that series yet. about with um, dinosaurs. Yeah, uh, dinosaurs. It was called yeah, Dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then, not the mama. Not the mama. There was a movie. That ended with them all dying, didn't it? Dinosaurs. But in the last episode, they just. Did uh, it? The, the comet arrived or the asteroid. Yeah, you're was, you're yeah. blowing my mind. I don't remember that. Of course, it ended with them all dying. I remember. Here's, here's, a, qu- here's yeah. a question. Crawling into the the oil. The, like the grandma crawl into the oil or something. What? <laughs> Primordial soup, soup or something. Are you like thinking about the horse in Never Ending Story? No, I was gonna no, say. I, I never think about that. Because that was traumatic. We don't want to. We don't want to talk about that. I'm just gonna no. give away the endings to all the most traumatic <laughs> kids' films ever. Yeah, about dinosaurs. About yeah. dinosaurs. Never Ending yeah. Story is maybe the greatest kids' movie ever made. I would yeah. argue. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a big call. The never ending it's story. Really never ending story is an amazing film. No, no. The never ending story. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Carry on, Gareth. No, it, I, I was trying to make it doesn't matter. Carry on. <laughs> Look, you know, um, it's all we've all been right. given a, uh, some sign off to show uh, a bit of, um, of Mark's. Uh, Forrest Gump. So we'll pop that up on screen in a sec. We sign off in ten minutes. I thought, I thought the thing was finished. I thought we were going to get to bed. Well, I thought that too, but then I just kept talking. So <laughs> I'm just, I'm just in it. Shit. Okay. Oh, I mean, Joe, Joe pointed out that that's Theodore Rex, not Tammy the T Rex with Flippy Goldberg, and that hundred percent correct. Tammy and the Tammy and the T Rex is right. Denise Richards, isn't it? And her boyfriend's brain gets put in a T Rex and uh, goes and kills a lot of people. Uh, but she's like, oh, "I love you still," because she's my boyfriend, <laughs> and he's like got his brain in a T Rex. Imagine the fun. pitch meeting. Imagine the pitch. Yeah. Meeting. <laughs> So I know what the pitch meeting was for that. They had the animatronic T Rex, and they were like, "Shit, let's make a film around this." And they did it in like a weekend. That sounds right. Because they just had it for a bit. <laughs> Chris Gibson rightly asks, "Sophie, what's your view on dinosaur films?" <laughs> really? I mean, you can't beat Jurassic Park. Fair. Yes. There you go. Hey. To the point, perfect. And even they can't beat Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Can't beat Jurassic Park. And <laughs> no, they just can't. keep trying, and they won't no, they just stop. Got worse and worse and worse. They just got progressively oh, yeah, worse. I mean, the last one was one of the most awful things I've ever seen. Horrible. I say that with every film, though. Apart from that Brachiosaur bit, oh, that. Oof. No, it was shocking. No, but it looked like they don't even have the Jurassic Park music in fucking... it anymore. An idiot. They're like, oh, we don't need the Jurassic Park music because you know we want to do our own thing. It's, it's Jurassic Park. Get over it. Yeah. Use the John Williams music, you idiot. Is it? If it's not in this last whatever the fuck this ends up being with every character, the, the end game of dinosaurs, if it's not in this thing with Goldblum and all that, they're, they're fucking up. Like, come on, you've got to bring it back. It's, it's, yeah, I think uh, Giacchino's done the score, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm in agreeance with Ferg. I, I don't love the, the score, and I'm, I feel like there's a huge fan base that loves the Giacchino Um Specific for, G- for Jurassic World, I, I like Giacchino's music a lot, but um, he's always good. But like, you can't beat the Jurassic Park mu- no, music. I'm trying to top John Williams. It's not going to happen. I've got a slightly the, controversial the theme in there. Slightly controversial take in terms of an, a total score. I think The Lost World is better than Jurassic Park. Some people again Who cares? just say things, and I hear it, and I think, <laughs> "What's this idiot talking about?" The score can be great if the film's not good. It doesn't. Well, matter. the the score for Jurassic Park is about thirteen minutes of of music that sort of loops, whereas Lost World is a an entire story in music. 
What's better? It's, it's like re- it's like releasing some yeah. hot EP that where every track's fucking cool, or releasing a twenty-seven track fucking <laughs> thing where you just limp down to the finish, mate. Flory, not a pro- not a prog fan. Mm. We're starting to get testy now. We're starting yeah. to get testy. It's like when they do a Terminator film and they don't use the Brad Fidel Fidel music. It's like, what are you doing? Why why aren't you using the Terminator music? It goes Terminator dun, 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 dun. Just put that in. do it with That's an orchestra. It's like, why are you doing it with an orchestra? What's going on? I don't want to watch what? it. I'm just switching. What's off. Jurassic Park? <laughs> <laughs> Matt just it's took an idea. Yeah. Well, this rich guy had an idea, right? <laughs> is this one of these Notting Hill type films, whatever that direction It's like the fleas. It's the fleas. It's a bunch of middle class people show. in the park and they all meet and talk. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah. Much. Well, <laughs> no, I love Jurassic Park. I'm kidding. I love it. Only the At first At some point, film. there's a T Rex with cards with stuff written on it. it would be more like that, wouldn't it? I get, I get yeah. something out of it. It'll be like that because <laughs> dinosaurs, are, dinosaurs are cool, so you're going to get something out of it because there's dinosaurs running riot. But it should be that's more. Not all it is. The first one's kind of a bit more than that. Yeah. Here's a hot topic okay. question: Do dinosaurs did do dinosaurs did dinosaurs should dinosaurs have feathers? Go. They were sent no. here to no, test they our uh, They are. Their world is ten thousand years old. And uh, dinosaur fossils were sent here to test our faith, uh, as we all know, because that is what is written. So that's the like Irish that's thing fine. coming out again. You know, Fail. please send me your printed materials. I would like to read more about this. <laughs> I, I think if you believe I dinosaurs like existed, I like oh, spiny when they've got little spiny bits. Do you know when they have like little mm. stegosaurus? I don't want that. He's cool. Mm-hmm. Stegosaurus and weapons is the best on the end of their tails. Though. When they have weapons on the end of their tails, that's yeah, that's pretty cool. Or like a helmet. It's like I've decided to evolve a helmet so I can headbutt yeah. things. I think exactly. that's like the best thing ever. You know, Stegosaurus is the best dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. He's the best pretty transformer cool. dinosaur. But that was what I was asking before. I was like, oh well, is it the best? It's not the best Jurassic Park dinosaur because I didn't even put it in the first one. So then, if I want to get my steg on, I have to watch the fucking start of the second one. Who wants to do that? Yeah. Well, it's the Triceratops, then, isn't it? But it's dead in the first one, isn't it? Hey, oh, it's not. Like, it's just sick. It's just shit itself because it's so a big pile of crap. It's a big pile of shit. Well, <laughs> Mark Bell's, uh, Mark, really Bell's Mark Bell's Mark uh, Bell's Forrest Gump is on screen. Just seeing it. Uh, is it? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> right now, nothing is. Oh, there it is. Oh, very cool. Wow. Yeah. Like, oh, no, wow. It's a bad. It's only a section of it. Well, fuck off. You know, look. Oh, little yeah, bit of teeth. Ah, there it is. There we go. Oh, yeah. Tom, do anything? Oh, yeah, I see it. Right there. Nice work. Good well, one. Oh, Gary's uh, is cool. I look forward to other people Where seeing that, the whole thing because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crack, crack of this work. Um, did you draw did Gary Sinise's leg print? on the print and then and then rub them out, or did you just draw the stumps <laughs> like be authentic? Okay. It's really late now. I kind of understand. Yeah. I'm, my wife's so going like to be get mad right, because I'm glory, it's like next seven to All right. Come on, let's wrap it up. Come on, kids, off to bed. I'm not so, in an office. I'm in the box room next to our bedroom, and my wife probably wants to go to bed. And I, I, I thought agree you were being quiet. Her. I agree with my wife. We just see Matt's posters fall off the wall because she's banging on the other side. <laughs> All right, off you hop. Gareth, do your thing. So thank you, everybody, for being here. And uh, we're going to go to Betty Buys now. Apart from the people for who, for which it is definitely not night time, uh, which I think is some of you. It's three o'clock here. Three o'clock, and then it's what eight or nine a.m. where you are, Flory. Yeah, eight forty-three. Gotta go get a coffee, I think. So we'll see you later. We'll you see you tonight. We'll see you tonight then, Flory. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining, uh, both artists and audience. And uh, this was the first day of Amp Jam 2021. Uh, and yeah, yeah. I'll 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 apologise again. Sorry. Uh, 
<laughs> well done, Gareth. Um, yeah, yeah, fair play. Thank Take you. Day one done. Good thank job, you for having us. It's, it's, been, well. actually, it's actually been very much a fun evening. So thank you. Yeah, no, I've been looking forward to ruining this show. <laughs> For ages. Hey, you're in. There's, there's, there's more show. You're in vice press uh, session and the big panel. There's plenty more for you to ruin. Glory, don't worry. Oh, I'm more, drinking on all should, those. So watch it. I'm going to be more serious on those because it's going to be like, let's talk business. Well, I'm not. Stuff. You know, you be the opposite, and yeah, be good. I mean, well, you've done nothing. I think the kids are on the trampoline. To be fair, <laughs> you are. Well, we're done. So like the cleaning of a house, it never ends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm waving. Bye, sorry, guys. Let's all wave goodbye. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Gareth. Thanks, everyone. See you guys. Bye. Cheers. Bye. So you just go on. First one, go.